733k, that is decent. Very decent, super decent.
Closed. They've been closed. Can you just close the door?
Mm-hmm. <laughs>
bisschen Schmack hin.
Okay, come on now, let's go. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, I need some stones. Thank you. 
<rire> tu peux plus te travailler dans le métier. <rire>
Oh shit, I didn't even see. What's, what's going on, Bruce Bear? What's going on? Man said that's rude. My bad, I had another uh, window open, brother.
Bruh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Yo, Brucey, you still in here, bro? This is bullshit, I hate that. That's why you gotta fucking, you gotta fucking fuck him up, you know, and go under him. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me a pet. Let me get a pet, let me get a pet. Okay, mm -hmm.
see what he gives me. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Now. Yep. Yep. Okay, Timmy, if you didn't get Cerberus, bro, I'm gonna be pissed, bro. If it's anything else but Cerberus, I don't wanna hear it. Bro, if it's not the Hell Puppy, I don't wanna hear it, bro. Not enough space in your bank? <laughs> what? Bruh, Timmy, bro. Man <laughs> said, "Yo, you won't believe it. My eight-year-old, my seven-year-old phone died. What a dude! I thought you were gonna tell me something exclusive. You know." Thank you. 
<laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, the man's a hater. I remember. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> man's a hater. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. This dummy. I mean, I only got two mil in my inventory, bro. This ain't even mine. Old man, old man, a hundred mil. <laughs> the bill brother men say give me that shit I'll deal with it <laughs> so I mean like I'm I, I can give you two mil bro out of breaking it like you know I still have to sell a bunch of shit man pop on he'd be like yo where's my money I'd be like uh, you see you see what happened here <laughs> I didn't say you'll split it in half. Bro, I can't, bro. I wish, bro. I wish I'd keep it all, bro. I gotta be loyal, you know? So, I mean, like, yo, I'll give you two mil, bro. I'll give you two mil, bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, you gotta, you gotta stay loyal in this game. Try and dust people off, you know? And then when you need help, they're never there to help you. Yeah, again, if you fuck them over. Man said, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, you're fucked. I can't believe you just said that. Man said I'd scam my mom. Oh, what a fucker. Can't believe you just said that. Fucking God. Man said, had my fingers crossed, bro. Yo, you're fucked. That don't mean anything you lied. I'm telling your mom. You a scammer, bro. <laughs> you fucked up. You're so fucked up. Okay, let's do a little fucking drop. Oh, you trying to you trying to make that what you trying to make that thing a freaking uh... 
Oh, that account. Bro, you have 99, 90 fucking five fishing, bro. Go fucking fish, bro. What are you waiting? You, what are you doing, bro? Go fish, bro. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. Oh, you heard that, eh? It was a nasty rip. A big rippers. <laughs> yeah, you're dumb, bro. You didn't hear nothing. <laughs> you're fucked up. Uh -huh. That math, bro. That math is fire right there. Man, it's a saucy one. You can smell it from there, huh? Yeah, you can smell it from there, huh? Yo, say, say voila, you can't smell it from there. <laughs> hey, sheep. Two hundred gargoyles? Almost two hundred gargoyles? God damn, almost two hundred gargoyles. I gotta kill two hundred gargoyles. That's crazy. I'm lazy. I'ma have to kill these niggas looking crazy. Huh, god damn, huh. But a put a shit, but the bop man, huh. Nothing that you know I gotta knock now, huh. Stop it. Next thing you know I'm gonna drop it. Nigga made a track and he flopped it. Uh -huh. What's that? Uh -huh. Tell a nigga bring a homie fucking back. Uh -huh. For the studio time. You know, homie take a shit, but he went to the town. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> fucking make all that. Coming in here with the ball cap. Uh -huh. What's that? Uh -huh. What's that? Uh -huh. Tell him bring it back. Uh -huh. Homie took a shit, but he don't know what's that. What? Yo, you bought it that. Stop lying. Yo, you bought it, bro. Don't lie, bro. <laughs> Okay, you bought it, bro. Hey, you bought it, bro. Yo, it's okay if you bought it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or unless you bought the account as it is stacked up. Careful with buying accounts now that are stacked up, bro. You goofball. You goofball. Yeah, I made this account last year, two years ago. And I'm already blasting through. <laughs> I'm blasting through. It took like a year off, and it took a couple months off, and now I'm blasting through again. Yeah, I know you, but we 
Man said you'll never be as good as me. Are you high or high? Bruh, you must be high. Like super toast. Bruh, you must be super toast, bruh. You'll never be as good as me, bruh. Hey, just remember, I did Dragon Slayer 2, huh? <laughs> Bro, you know how much of a but oh, I forgot that. Oh, I forgot that. So who robbed you, bro? I don't understand. Who robbed you, bro? What pop? Like what happened, bro? Like like who did you like that? Like what really what really went down, bro? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, Will, you're so fucked, bro. Shut up. You're talking about me, you fucker. You stupid fucker. <laughs> yo, Will, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're so stupid. I was like, yo, wait, nah, nah, this shit sounds too relatable, bro. What? Huh? I was like, nah, you saw him. <laughs> You're so dumb, bro. <laughs> You're so stupid. I was like, yo. I was like, wait a minute, who stole his money? I was like, wait a minute. I was like, this guy. <laughs> 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 yo, you you kill me, bro. I was like, yo, who stole his money? Boom. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, boom. Wait a minute. <laughs> nah, man, saying something now. Nah, these hidden messages. You know, you know. <laughs> bruh, I ain't stealing shit, bruh.
I know, brother. Yo, let me, let me, let me, let me pay two mil off that debt, bro. Let me get my monthly payment in, bro. Trying to get my monthly payment in, bro. Yo, let me get my monthly payment in, bro. How'd you know? No, Will, nah, 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 man's in my phone. Nah, I got changes. Let me download a little antivirus, bro. This man's in my phone, bro. How'd you know, bro? Yo, bro, get out of my phone, bro. Yo, yo, I knew this Twitch shit put some hackers in my shit. Yo, bro. Yo, now I gotta, yo, I'm gonna tell a good night now. Now the man can. <laughs> <laughs> the man knows everything. Oh, oh, she must have back. Shoot.
<laughs> Yo, man said. Man said. Yo, man said. <laughs> Yo, you're fun. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, say yo. Man, say you laughing like you steal the phone. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you are right, bro. <laughs> what do you mean by worth it, bro? That word worth it. Buckable? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's buckable. <laughs> Yeah, she buckable. Buckable. Yeah, yeah, she buckable. Yeah, 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 bro. Man said, show me the meat, G. <clears throat> yo, can't be exposing up my my prospects, bro. I don't. Yo, can't be exposing my prospects. Dog. You know, man, man's over here trying to add some to his kid, to his roster, bro. You already got some, bro. I'm trying to add to your roster, bro. Shoot, you got me fucked up. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> man said, <you, laughs> man said you ain't in it. <laughs> yeah, you're so goofy, bro. Man said, yo. <laughs> you went in the place to negotiate. <laughs> ah, yeah, you kill me, bro. You kill me. You're too much. Yeah, where the hell your dumbass been, bro? I haven't been streaming or playing RS much recently. I bought a bond. I played one day, and uh, I don't know. I think I have like four days left. Yeah, bro, working, bro. I don't have time. I don't have much time anymore. You know, like I used to. Well, I mean, like I bought a bond, like cash. OSRS money and I used it and like I wasted like seven days of it I find
Oh yeah? Time to do desert treasure badger? Yo, you, you, you need help, bro? You need me to hold your hand through it, bro? Yo, you want me to help you do the boss, bro? I'll show you how to do the boss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me show you how to kill the boss, homie, and you know that I'ma go hard when I spit the track. I'ma spit them bars, bang him bad. Told that homie I ain't trying to spit the bar. He did that, huh? What is that? Gotta keep the pack, huh? gotta bring it back, huh? Gotta flip the stab, huh? I told the homie that ain't bad, huh? What you doing, huh? Oh my god, huh? Talking all that shit, huh? These bitches on my line, huh? huh? And these niggas talking shit about the fry, huh? I ain't got it, don't worry about it. The homie making money, don't even doubt it. <laughs> riding around <laughs> with a pound. <laughs> you know a nigga riding with a double sound. <laughs> got a pack, <laughs> don't bring it back. How to break it down, told the homie it ain't that. <laughs> what is that? Homie got a triple pack, <laughs> got a stack on the back. What with a pack? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 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 Whoa, <laughs> Whoa, this for your road, even though that's not how I'm gonna motherfucking go out. Uh, nah, I ain't tryna play with the flow, nah, nah. Tell the homie he ain't tryna go with the ride. Got it, niggas really died it. I don't even know, but you know I really got it. A packer on my hip, though. Ain't niggas keep it close, though. Ride it with a bit, but you know I keep them hoes, though. I don't even know how I'm gonna blow. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go. Hmm. Spitting on some stupid track. I don't even know huh. how the hell I'm doing that. But I'm about to flow. Huh. About to flow. Huh. Huh. I'm about to flow. Huh. Yeah, bro. I did like a couple of them. I'm gonna do some. I'll probably do like the last 20, last 20 gargles, dawn and dusk. It's easy. Quick 45 minute to a minute trips, two minute, three minute trips. Three minute. Three minute, two minute. Three minute, I'm in it. Three minute, I'm getting huh? all these niggas whipping. Huh? They think that you know I'm coming and whipping them bitches, huh? I'm a blipping bitches, I'm in the ripping them stitches, huh? Get it, get it, I'm coming with it. Gotta stack up with the bitches and I hit it, huh? Damn, you know I'm the man, and I ain't playing with these niggas, don't understand, huh? How I'm coming with that plan, though. <laughs> bitches talking shit, but they really know I'm the man, though. Coming on this shit, what they did, they understand, though. Got that bitch, how that bitch, what that bitch command, though. How that hit, how that hit, how that hit the fans, though. Hit the bitches talking shit, they riding with the double clip. And they think that you know, huh, I don't even know huh, what I'm about to flow. Huh, huh, but let's go, huh, huh, about to kill your hoe, about to steal your hoe. They think that you know, I'm knocking at you, though. Huh, huh, run, though. Who's that? Run, though. My niggas wet, huh, huh, he actin' up.
likely ragtag band of misfits must join forces if they hope to stay alive for just one more week. They are Hell's Riders. Is this real right now? Starring. Singles, you help. Yes, chef. Complete the Titan Fox, then get a drink. Yes, yes, chef. Ain't nobody to yell at for a minute, so you might as well yell at Trap. I'm like a little bit of a whipping boy around here. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. I'm on a four killers level 50. One special calamari double side. One tartar, -tar, two risotto. Who's yes, yes, Chef? Yes, Chef. Mono, how long are you going on on potato? Six minutes on the potato. I have full confidence in myself that I'm about to go work another station, and I'm going to kill it. Buy those, Chef. As long as I don't overthink things and do what I do, I got this, no problem. Keep the pan down, please. On the stove, keep it down. Bring it to you. Let's go. Yes, sir. Trip you working, yes? Yes, sir. I like Mono a lot. I think that everybody with a little bit of a southern accent, people think they're slow, but he's super quick with it and he's super fast in the kitchen. Oh, the two is off there. Come on. Trip. <coughs> hey, all of you, come here. <laughs> the man spit out his food. Oh, so it. disrespectful. Excuse me, well, Kizzy. Stop, Chef. And what else? What, what more time? Oh, no, more time, time Chef. Just crunchy rice. Come on, stop rushing here. Yes, Look at now. Leave the pan up. Yes, Chef. You got this dreadful habit of lifting it off the stove. <laughs> yes, Chef. Yes, you Chef. You know this. Come on, Mono. You know it. It's 30 minutes into dinner service. Leave the pan off! Yes, Chef! You've got this dreadful habit of lifting off the stove! Come on, Motto! You know it! And the Hell's Kitchen newbies are still waiting for Motto to serve a proper risotto. Come on, Motto, please! Walk your risotto now, Chef. Speed up! Motto! Is that better, Chef? Yeah, you know it's better. You can cook, young man. Just stop the snap pan in the air. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I feel like I can handle it all. Go with that, please. Let's go. I'm used to bouncing up and down the line while I'm exposing. I mean, yeah, I'm quicker than I look. Huh? <laughs> Shake. Not the squirrel. You got one risotto followed by two risotto. Yes, Chef. Mono has mastered his technique on the appetizer station. So, please. As both teams are sending the first courses to the dining room. I hope you enjoy everything. I'm so happy you're here. And are ready to move on to. Entree, two Wellington, one salmon, one pork. Put three Wellington, please. Yes, sir. Let's go. Y'all okay? Everybody knows they got working, right? Being a leader in the kitchen is definitely not something that's foreign to me. Four minutes to the window, guys. Heard. I've been an executive chef for the past couple of years, so being a delegator and being vocal is not something that's hard for me to do. Wellington Garnish, walk us to the window. Right behind you is Wellington. Right behind. Coming down. Yeah. Cute. Season. Oh, I'm just taking these wellies for a walk around the kitchen. She fucked up. How do you gotta taste your food? I need to taste it. You gotta taste it. Guys, we're going to help back here with a garnish. Can somebody show Jay how to do mashed potatoes with? Yes, yes. I'll put a little bit more salt in there for you, Chef. I'm a sister. I know how to season food. That's never been an issue for me. A little creamier. Yeah. I don't know what shit he's eating in his past that ruined his palate, but the food had enough salt in it. Yeah. I mean, I guess he just wants to put these people in cardiac arrest. Young lady. What am I doing wrong now, Chef? It's hard to do that. I said thanks. I appreciate it. What am I doing wrong now, Chef? I mean, because I see you looking what you look like. No! <laughs> uh, young lady. Uh, young lady. <laughs> this is still bland. This is still bland. What are you doing wrong now? Brett, why does that? Sure, is that what you just asked me? No, sorry, yeah, Jeff. Mom. Is there something that I can fix for you? Let me try Yeah, taste it. It's salty. It's good. First harder potatoes were disgusting. You need pepper. That is embarrassing. You don't know how to season food? Black pepper in here too? You need pepper, you need butter? Yeah, I put yeah. butter, cream, all of that stuff in here. Now we're at standstill. No one can do anything without garnish. This is good. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, this is good. Come on. Two halibut, two lobster, one pork, one duck. Who's yes, What in there, Gizzy? Bruh. Down, you didn't want to pull up because you were depressed about your account. You were supposed to pull up, bruh. Me cooking my fish in the pan. Bruh, you were supposed to pull up, bruh. This is not a open flame. 
Yo, I gotta fix the Subaru bro, before I bring it out there. Right now. I can't cook my meat and cook your fish. Yes, we ready to walk. Yeah, I'm ready to walk too. Let's get it together. Come on. Hey, one more time. This 60 minutes is not enough. All right. Three minutes, Jeff. Still three minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Fucking hell. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. I you. Hey, she laughs. You fuck around. It's five minutes, five minutes ago. You said three. I said, no, give it to me five. Now we're going back to three. Any idea why? So I know. Wellington's wasn't wasn't cooked all the way, chef. But we have two minutes. I promise you, chef. Two minutes. This guy is not very organized in his thoughts, and he's aggressive. He thinks he's communicating, but he's not communicating correctly. We're walking. Wellington. Run it up. Just roll. Run it up. Run it. Run it. Because. Right yeah, behind you. Right behind you. Oh no. Holy, come here. I honestly don't know what the fuck has happened. Look how dry that is. It's like fucking canned fish. Is this good enough for you? That's like my soul when he's just like tearing apart and he's like, it's fucking dry. So I'm cooking like pros and get your shit together. I'm tired of letting Chef Ramsay down and I gotta figure it out or else it's gonna start to get scary. Time to get a grip. It's time to get a grip. Bro, I'm trying to chill too, bro. Like, what are you saying, bro? What are you coming out here, bro? Yo, it's either I go out there, you go out there, either or, bro. I mean, yo, what kind of car you drive, bro? What you driving, bro? You got a Cadillac? <laughs> got a Cadillac? <laughs> On some 23? That was all Scotland's fault, and that's why I'm pissed. Oh, that shit was so fucked up, man. I want the meat, the fish, and the garnish together. Yes, yeah, chef. Jose, cook two out of them for me. Come on, chef. Six minutes to the window. Six minutes to the window, chef. I got to get I came here to cook, so it needs me to cook two halibuts. Suck it up and get the job done and do it right. Halibut coming? Two. Yes. You coming? I got the garnish right. That's good, let's go. I can see it in his face. Jose really, really wants this. Come into the window. He's like, I don't give up. I'm, I'm in this with it, baby. Uh, no, it's fine, though. It's fine, yeah. Jose has successfully bailed out Gizzy in the red kitchen. And with Jen managing to catch up with the garnish in the blue kitchen. All right, I'm going up. Walking up two wellies behind, behind, behind. Both teams are delivering entrees to the diners at a reasonable pace. Thank you so much. One big one, one chicken, one chicken, one chicken, one pole. Yes, chef. Behind, chicken. Where's the chicken garnish? The chicken, pork, and halibut. Let me know you're working. I, I didn't know. What the fuck she's doing, I don't know. Wow, y'all can't fuck me like that. I've been talking to y'all this whole time. Kine is lost on garnish. It started to put everybody behind. I'm still waiting on the garnish. The chicken you brought up three minutes ago. I don't know if you guys can't see this. Hi, guys. I've told my team that I'm such a strong line cook, and I am. However, tonight is not looking so promising. Mia, yes. can we help out? Hey, you might use me. I'm right here for yeah. you, okay? I'm just walking out on a two-minute garden right now. Kine isn't handing responsibility off because she thinks she's got it, and I'm just there to support her. Don't stand there, keep doing something. Wipe down, fold the towels, do something, okay? I'm not trying to take over, but nobody knows what's going on. I need the rest of the halibut. Oh, no, no, I got it, I got it, I got the halibut. I think I'm gonna be a little bit pissed if everybody's like, oh man, it's so good tonight. I think we have enough potato here for a halibut. What's the next ticket? One two halibut. halibut, two strip, I'm sorry. One halibut, two strip. Oh yeah, CTSV or not? I'm coming out there, yo. Let me drift that. <laughs> let me drift that. I want to hear your voice count this whole thing oh, down. Let me drift. Let me show you how to drive it like a real man. Drive it like a stole it. <laughs> oh, you sold it, my man. Sell it, sell it before it breaks, my man. I can walk in three minutes. three minutes. Me too. 
Sell it before your brains. Smart man. Smart man. You're a smart man. <laughs> you already yeah. know. Everybody wants a piece of pit. Well, how, how many it is? It's just chaotic now. My me is overcooking. Jen yeah, bro. Them bitches are fast, bro. She came back. Maybe she came back to promote her damn chef jacket and her fucking beretti. You know what? Y'all really trying to play on me right now. It's all crazy, man. I'm definitely the oddball out the group. So, of course, whenever anything happens in our kitchen, it's Jen, Jen, Jen. You need the duck garnish up now. She needs to push it to I need to fucking go. Walking up with duck garnish. I'm short of two portions of duck garnish. You short on the lead chef, I gave you the no. potatoes. Fucking hell, where's the pango? Top, top, top. I gave you the creamy lead chef that. Okay, you need more. Hey, hey, oh, you wanna pay with me a minute? I'm short of the duck garnish. I've got one portion out there and barely a third of the next. You just pulled that from under there, chef. You threw that under there, I gave you enough meat. You trying to clown me up in here right hey, come now? Here. Hey, no, you trying to clown me in here right hey, no, now? I gave you the leech, chef. Yeah. All of you, come here. All of you, come here. All of you. Oh, you're trying to all clown of you, story. Me, chef, and I no, gave you enough. You're lying. Hey, all of you, come here. All of you. And that's not gonna happen. Hey, I appreciate you coming back, but you're not yeah, gonna disrespect me at all. Hey, take your apron off and get out. Yeah, I will. Don't Front worry door. about it. Front door. Front door. You yeah. lying, chef. Yeah. You trying to sabotage me? Really quick. You set me up. I'm steady bringing you. Who set you up? You're making an excuse. You're lying. You're lying. I'm shocking. I'm shocking. I'm giving you your smart what? Bullshit. Get out. Get out. struggling on that fucking station. Get a grip or follow her. Chef, chef, chef. chef. She having a yelling match with the OG, triple OG, the motherfucking hefe. Come on, what the fuck? Two summon, two new old strip. The chef. Yes, chef. She was gonna be the first one to go anyway. This is bitch. That's all I gotta say about that. At the end of the day, I have an entire business at home waiting on me. I've accomplished a lot of things. I'm going home wishing I would have said more. I wish I would have told him to take that blue chef jacket and stuff it so far up his ass he started coughing out blue beer. That's what the hell I wish I would have told him. Chef, right here, chef. Go with that, please. With the distraction removed from the kitchen, both teams are successfully delivering the final dishes. Chef, coming in hot. You're right. Let's finish strong. We're walking in 30 seconds. Nicely cooked, tea. Don't forget the sauce for the salmon. Five is up. 50. Finish strong. Finish strong. Thank you very much. That's good. Red team, line up. Let's go. Blue team, line up, please, quickly. Jen is missing. Something happened on the blue team side, and I want to know. Before we discuss who the winning team is tonight, how dare somebody accuse me of sabotaging their garnish and attempt to solve my reputation I respect your commitments, but I am not going to be accused of sabotaging anybody. Is that understood? Yes, yes chef. chef! Okay, she's gone. I want to get back to the chefs that matter to me. Tonight, both kitchens did have a number of issues, some mistakes, but unlike opening night, each kitchen bounced back, and more importantly, we completed service. So, based on that performance, 
and the fact that we sent Jen home in the middle of service, I decided that nobody is leaving this competition tonight. Yes. Wow, thank you, sir. Get out of there. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Seth. Jen eliminated herself for us. I don't want to be associated with that hot mess at all whatsoever. Adios. My heart was like pounding really hard. At the end of the day, we finished our service, but not in the best way possible. That is our get out of jail free card, and it cannot have to be taken out real. Everything is cut. And we're starting to come together now as a unit on the blue team. And the red needs to really be scared at this point. What the fuck was she on? Jen accused me of sabotaging her. The truth of the matter is, the only thing that sabotaged Jen tonight was her cooking. Next up on Hell's Kitchen. Chicken nice and cooked. Rookies, you're incredible. Hell yeah. When the veterans are feeling shown up by the rookies. So sick of these little fucking rookies. They are good, man. It is. Will some egos be so bruised? Right now. They decide to hatch a plan. Red team, you better watch your back. Don't worry, they'll be so frustrated and did a service, they won't know what hit them. So devious. There's something very is about to happen. We're going down big time. We're going to sabotage you, bitch. Then it changes the game completely. Oh, shit, stop. What in the fuck? Other way. Who put this in the oven? <laughs> what the hell is that? Who did it? <laughs> it's all next time on a low-down, dirty episode of Hell's Kitchen. Having fun yet? We're under a misconception that you are almost valuable as you are not. Who do you think you are? I'm Stormfront. I'm the new girl. No, it's what you're now. This is a war. We're gonna take her down. Well, I think this is going great. Ow. States Marines marched into Hell's Kitchen. Ooh, ah. What an honor to cook for all of these men and women. Both the veterans and the talented rookies were determined. This kind of means a real lot to me. I was in the Navy. To have their kitchen feed their Marines first. My brother's a Marine, so let's kick ass for him. Gizzy made a careless mistake. The water's not even fucking boiling. That required some oh, basic no. training. Our water needs to be boiling for the pasta. But the red team managed to rally back. Red team, keep it up. Yes, sir. Yes. In the blue kitchen. Who dressed this? Sorry, Jeff. Four ingredients in the salad. What the hell is wrong with you? A number of veterans were forced into triage mode at Jen Salad Station. Make them please look a lot nicer. How about you worry about your french fries and leave me alone? And that had a damaging effect. How long are fries? I just went over here. Fries, Heather. It's just fries. That resulted in a blue team loss. Congratulations. Well done. And yeah. a rookie celebration. You ever heard the marine policy? No man left behind? Yes, yes sir. sir. He left his fucking brains behind. At dinner service. I honestly don't know what the fuck has happened. Oh, no. Gizzy struggled again. Look how dry that is. It's like my soul that he's just like tearing apart. Until Jose bailed her out. Six minutes of the window, chef. I got to do it. While in the veteran's kitchen, Jen went from bad. Young lady. What am I doing wrong now, chef? Don't fucking talk to me like that. To worse. You trying to clown me up in here right now, yeah. chef? Say that to me. Don't you dare. I didn't tell Don't you dare. To write out of the competition. You trying to sabotage like, me, right? Where? You set me where? up. Get out. Nothing. Get out. You haven't got it. You know that. With Jen gone, Chef Ramsey gave the rest of the chefs a break. Nobody is leaving this competition tonight. Yes. Keeping them all in the hunt to become the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen Veterans vs. Rookies. Are you kidding me? Yo, the first is Looney Tunes. What? That is Looney Tunes at its finest, bro. Jen had the opportunity that people would kill for it. To come back a second time and she spits on Chef Ramsay's face like that? What the fuck are you thinking? I know a motherfucker that'll slit my throat to be where I am right here. Yep. 
Yeah, I, was, I was telling Scott Lee earlier though, you can't even go and see the only room sometimes. I got just knocking earlier like, can I come in? I know. <laughs> yeah, dude, because all the fucking ladies fucking, whatever. Can I move to the boys' room? It's a lot of sexy ladies. For real. Yeah. Yo, Mia, dude. <laughs> Honestly, you all know Mia has a fucking big ass booty. <laughs> dude, if she wasn't so aggressive, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Chill out here. <laughs> Having fun here? Well, I'm not gonna go that far. Like, it just feels like work. Yeah. I came here to cook in front of one of the best chefs in the world. Yeah. I'd rather just, like, shut my mouth, do the best I can do, which is what I usually do. Nice. You might have saw some black jackets sitting there on the couch while you saw some elimination people sitting out there by the hot tub tonight. You underestimated a little bit. I'd rather be underestimated. Oh my, because then everybody's pleasantly surprised when you succeed. Or unpleasantly surprised. Yeah, that's true. Okay, bring, bring it on. Chef Ramsey has asked us to deliver these jackets to you. I know. Please put them on. Here you go. Yo, I hope we get to keep these. We see jackets. We're at 90 degree LA. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. I'm a little confused. I feel like something great is about to happen. Dirty. Oh, Chef. Lighter, please. Oh, yes, no. Let's go. <laughs> Careful. There we are. Whoa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hell has frozen over. <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a competition. Mm. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, you'll be competing in the Hell's Kitchen sled race. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a relay. So there'll be two people in the sleigh, and there'll be one person pushing it. The winning team will earn an advantage in today's challenge. Let's go. Any of these physical, racy type deals, I get a little nervous. Let's just hope the old folks don't need any walkers after this. One, Here we go. two, three, go! Three, two, three. Oh, Heather and I were the first ones to go, and we just got speed. If there's nothing else today, well, at least we get to do a little bit of sledding. Never always sledded before. Who thought that I'd be sliding down a slope? Yes, oh, about to make is the perfect treat on a cold winter day. For today's challenge, I'm looking for each of you to make an incredible, mind-blowing bowl of soup. And you'll be making your soups right over there. When I heard that we were making soups, it just brought me back to my lead line cook days. They called me the soup man. If you can make a good soup, you could be a great chef. Now, all stars blue team, you have a 10 second head start to grab everything you need to create a stunning soup. And you have 45 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Go, Blue Team. I'm extremely irritated with that 10 second lead. They're going to snatch all of the good ingredients. Two, one, ready, go. Let's go. Behind you. Coming in. Behind, behind. Yeah. Gina doing 
it's salty. Yeah. And then you can't really control it. I'm gonna do a Vietnamese inspired pho. It's very ambitious to do a good pho stock in 45 minutes. It's so much love. The soup I'm doing is uh, spicy butternut squash soup. I made this many times and fucking sells out like hotcakes. Tell me how this was working. I'm three years ago, I'm a chef okay. on top. The cheddar is popping. What are you going for? Pasta fajol, that with ham cheddar and some herbs. Pasta fajol. Three minutes. What am I missing? This smells so fucking good. Five, <coughs> two seconds. Come on, guys, push it. Five, four, one, three, come up, come up, two, one. Hands up, well done guys. <coughs> Great job. I brought in two incredible guest judges. She is one of the top chefs in the country and has been awarded two James Beard Awards. Please welcome Tracy Dejardin. Now, Chef. Chef Desjardins, I mean, she's a rock star. Well, she's been honored several times James Beard House. She knows what she's doing. You have a great vegetable winter soup a jardinier yes. give us a little insight to the magic of that dish you always want the balance you want a little bit of acid salt a little bit of texture on there that's the ideal soup i can't agree more right our second judge he's a two-time figure skating world champion and an olympic gold medalist brian Ortano. Wow. Wow. Oh, i know what brian Ortano is going to do give me a perfect score this amazing sketch has <coughs> written an incredible cookbook. Thank you. Uh, what would Brian Boitano make? Yeah. Uh, uh, you uh, got it. James. Blue team. First up, Trevor. For the first ever soup challenge in Hell's Kitchen history, each of the judges will be scoring the dishes from one to three stars. Please be careful. The team with the most stars wins the challenge. Uh, today I did a <coughs> carrot and coconut soup with a Cajun curry shrimp. Uh, Flavor-wise. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. Beautiful texture. I don't really get the herb in there. Um, uh, the coconut's kind of dominant. Other than that, the soup tastes delicious. Mm. I love the contrast of the crunchiness with the creaminess of the soup. Judges. Excellent. Uh, six points of the blue team. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. It's rough being the first one judged because the judges always hold back a little bit. And I've never seen anybody get a perfect score right out of the gate. Heather, please, describe your soup. In front of you, you have a andouille and lobster corn chowder. When you combine andouille and lobster and corn, it's like, where can you go wrong? I like the spiciness. It's got a good kick. Thank you, Seth. Wow. Right. Thank you. Right, next up, Ariel. Up next, Ariel's fried chicken miso ramen. Love the flavor. Great textures. Yeah. I like the perfume of the seaweed. I think it's really lovely. I love the color of the broth and I really like the funkiness. Look at that depth of authenticity in there. Gives the blue team another Ooh, seven it. points. And tea's Appalachian inspired soup. A celery velouté and a little bit of spicy pickled shrimp. Love the flavors and textures. Visually it's beautiful and the chicken skin is really amazing. It's absolutely delicious. Garners a near perfect score. <laughs> Next up. Kevin, you and uh, Brian are the same bar. I know. <laughs> yes, wow. uh, Kevin's classic New England clam chowder. Delicious. The textures are lovely. I was hoping for one little errant clam that I could eat with the soup, but it's good. Wow. Delivers a solid score. Next, Ro hopes to wow the judges with her. Vietnamese style pho. We have yet to win the challenge, so today would be a great day to get out of the kitchen, not have to prep for service, and get a reward. I'm missing a little bit of salt. It needs more body for me. I'm missing the acid. Just to squeeze the lime at the end, just to give it that balance. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> they probably would have failed that shit. Last up for the veterans is Brett, who's hoping a big score on his soup will make it more difficult for the rookies to surpass his team's total. Today I've prepared a tomato basil soup with uh, crispy pancetta and orzo with a roasted garlic crostini chef. What kind of tomatoes did you use? Uh, canned uh, palato de pomodoro. <laughs> Jesus. In today's soup challenge, Brett is the last Hell's Kitchen veteran to present and has just served his tomato and basil soup with pancetta. 
What kind of tomatoes did you use? Uh, canned uh, Palato de Pomodoro. Jesus. Huh? You use canned tomatoes? You're an Italian. Were they salted before you started? Um, I cooked them down with salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there tomato puree in there? Um, a little bit of paste, chef. Paste, chef. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I find it a little salty. And I don't taste enough of the pancetta. Right, right, right. Uh, you came out the gate strong there, so, and then it's pitted off. Okay, Mia, let's go, please. 41 is the score to beat, and up first for the rookies is Mia with her. Brown butter and butternut squash soup with some crispy Brussels sprouts. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah, the, the marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brussels sprouts, green yep. winter, croutons, fried in brown butter. It's amazing. I'm going to get to the end, and I want more. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just want to rub it in the blue team's face, like, you know, like, in your face, like, like, ah! <laughs> After Mia's perfect score, Mono is hoping to wow the judges with his southern spiced sweet potato soup. Not to only warm your bellies, but warm y'all souls. The flavors are fantastic. I'm just not getting any of that acid. Uh, the base is really complex, which is nice. You keep discovering things every bite that you take. Thank you. Yep. Next, delicious. Gizzy, is this pickled fennel? It's quick pickled fennel, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Nice touch. Gizzy blows the judges away with her celery and fennel soup, earning another perfect score for the red team. Thank you guys. Chris, let's go. Uh-oh, they're doing pretty darn good right now. So what I have here is a spicy butternut squash soup with fried tomatoes and fried jalapenos then tossed in uh, brown sugar. Wow, Ron, how's that for you? When you first served it, I felt it looked like melted cheese. Can't imagine getting to the bottom of this, this bowl. Yes, sir, thank you. Thank God somebody sucks on that team. Jose, let's go, please. Jose is up next with his soy miso soup and vegetables. I like the intensity. I like the funkiness of it. Easy to eat. Everything fits on your spoon. Yeah. Uh, got great textures in there. Really lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Scotland. We need the red team to stumble twice. We might have a chance <laughs> if they stumble twice. They have to. I'll have a saffron potato leek with some crispy Brussels sprouts, a butter poach, lobster, knuckle, and tail. <laughs> a little texture, a nice little uh, berryness to it. It's a beautiful marriage with the texture of the soup. Hell yeah. We are done. Like, we got this. <laughs> Good job. Rookies, you have beaten the All Stars. And you still got one soup to taste. Big blow. That was a big body blow right there. Can I? The texture of the roasted mushrooms is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Kanae's dish receives the third perfect score for the rookies as they dominate the veterans. Yeah. I put my scarf on backwards, like, I was thinking it's Tupac, like, thug like, I'm about to kill this shit. Some great suits today. Really. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. Yeah. Honestly, I want all of you to thank these two incredible judges for giving up their day to be here. Thank you. Red team, you're off for a luxurious day and night. What? Of pampering. That's right. <laughs> at Laurie's own resort and spa in Palm Springs. <laughs> now, say goodbye to the blue team. Bye, Go wild and have some fun. Victory is golden, man. I'm filled with diamonds right now. This is the best one yeah. so far. I'm so excited. Heart. We took their heart yeah. and we took their soul. Blue team, as the red team are selling themselves in Palm Springs, that incredible resort, you'll be here in Hell's Kitchen shoving up and transporting all this snow, 30 tons of snow, needs to go. Yes, sir. Head to the patio, Doc, will call you, when we're ready to start shoving this snow. <sighs> I'm disgusted with myself. I let myself down, my team down. Yeah, on my behalf. Sorry, y'all. Let y'all down big time. Uh, sorry. Here we go. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. Fuck! 
Sorry. What the fucking team down, man? Shake it off. We can't dwell. You don't know me, bro. Like, as much as Chef Ramsay criticizes me, he'll never criticize me like I criticize him. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Your team knows you fucked up. You don't need to keep bringing it up. Disgusting right now, myself. Hey, right. We're all passionate for raw emotion, are we? And I'm emotional ass nigga. Suck it up, buttercup. team is whooping it up in steamy Palm Springs. The veteran blue team is scooping it up back at Icy Hell's Kitchen. I know! Let's go back on Hell's Kitchen! <laughs> at the time, it sounded like a great idea. We got 30 tons. You know how much a ton is? That's a car. Hey, you got some big chunks you'll feel like shoving them me. I'll just throw them motherfuckers over there. I'm gonna wait for a little barrel. Might as well. Brett is a roller coaster of emotions. And I don't want to be on this ride. Look at this busy Murata. Definitely a date night type restaurant. I haven't been in a date in a while, so I'm super happy to be here right now. <laughs> what do you guys see this? Yes. The food sofa is unbelievable. Thank you. This is a one hell of a reward. He's not bringing us here just to eat. It's really to like, it's to it's like but to earn something. We got the momentum. We win the next one. You're gonna have to call us the All Star. Oh. <laughs> Great team! Wow! Hey, seriously, guys, can we get one more toast? With their long day on snow duty behind them. The beef prep. So I'm gonna do the poached eggs. The veterans are up and away, prepping both kitchens for tonight's dinner service. Yeah, I'm just living in eggland today. How are we doing? But the test batch was fine. These are gonna get too hard. You go the thing, you reheat that, that's gonna overcook. Okay, so that batch goes out. Start over again. Okay, fine. What happened? Oh, they're good, just not good enough. No, it's not extremely difficult. I don't want anybody thinking that I don't know how to poach eggs, okay? I do. How's the eggs? About to find out. Trev is the egg man. What does that make you? A walrus? No, I'm just joking. The last four here. See, some of these are fucked. That's them we cooked. You want it to be like this? See that? I see it. Ah, I think you went through white eggs, brown eggs, white eggs again. It's poaching eggs. Trev, use your teammates as well around you to check for your eggs because I don't want to go through this again. I'm done with salmon. Can I come over and... Oh, well, let's, uh, let's get everybody on push tags with me so I just look like the biggest idiot in the fucking world. Lighten up. You'll be all right. It's getting old. I gotta do it again. Driver! Yeah, with the rookies yet to return from their reward, the veterans are busy prepping both kitchens. See, some of these are fun. Those eggs aren't good. And Trevor has failed repeatedly to please Chef Jockey with his poached eggs. Fucking cocksucker, son of a bitch. It's getting old. I gotta do it again. Trevor! This Chef Jockey. Oh. Where's your eggs? Show me your eggs. I'm still getting the tail, though. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's nicer. Yeah. Okay, that's... It's much, it's much better than you had before. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Well done, Chef. Be out of the egg miner, yeah. I can do things. Go fuck your eggs. With the red team back from Palm Springs. Hi, Chef. Let's go. 
Chef Ramsay is making sure everyone is set up for success before he opens Hell's Kitchen. Do you have them cranked up? I have it at 460 uh, seconds. Yeah. Good. Literally. Six minutes. Six minutes. Ah, flip and piss. Everybody knows how to cook in here, right? We just all gotta learn how to talk. Let's do it. It's not rocket science, kids. Mourinho. See, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. So we're done. Come for the food or the stargazing. The restaurant is filled with excited guests. Yeah. On top of Chef Ramsay's classic menu. Yeah, the sexy right on top, right on top. Sexy right on top. Or they may also enjoy a gourmet clam chowder, which will be prepared tableside by Gizzy for the red team and Brett for the blue team. It's a little hot. Oh no, it's amazing. Go blue team. And with comedians Cheryl Hines and Rachel Harris. It smells so good already. And Academy Award nominee Morgan Spurlock dining in each kitchen. There will be extra pressure on both teams tonight. Let's go, Red Team. Let's go, here we go. Here we go. Here Let's go. On order, two twos, one special chowder table size. How long? Seven minutes. <laughs> one carbonara. On. Two flatbread. Roll. Yes, sir. Let's go. Do that one, start working two more dogs for flatbread. Yes. The rep team is feeling really good right now. Watch it though. We're making the all-stars look like amateurs, and I just want us to keep the momentum going. Can you set the tender? I have a sheet pan. It's in there. I'm just putting it right here. Okay. I don't know where it's at. It's right here. Look, it's right hey, here. Well, I can't see it. I'm tall as fuck. Mia is somebody who's hard to deal with. It's just always something, the littlest thing. It's not a big deal, Mia. Come on. It's not a big deal, but Ready? you're standing stop, there. Stop, stop. Scott Lee is used to people standing down to him. And I know I'm a foot and a half shorter than he is, but I'm not just going to let him tell me, you know, how to run my station. I have everything I need. Okay, I'm standing there. I'm asking him to put it away. No, no, no. Stop oh, yelling. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, sorry. don't do this dumb shit. With temperatures rising in the red kitchen, the first ticket of the night has just arrived in the blue kitchen. Okay, here we go. Four covers, table 22, one special chowder table side. Two scholars, one top top. Okay. Yeah. Scallops are going in the pan. Right. Everyone's biggest fear on the fish station is definitely the scallops, but my scallops are going to be perfect tonight. Scallops in the pan. Hurt. Yes. Scallops, please. Let's go. Out in one. Good. Let's go. Good. Wow. First table out, not a glitch, not even a hit anywhere. Decisiveness, rhythm, yes? Yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, so awesome. With the veterans shining bright on appetizers, over in the red kitchen, the rookies are hoping to get in a groove. I don't want to fork over table 50. Two flatbreads, one octopus, one special chowder table side. And yes, yes. answers from the Goldbergs, VIP, let's go. So I'm working two flatbread here? They're working so fast. <laughs> Where do you need me, guys? Come on here. Right. Why aren't you table side young lady? I'm helping you. Fucking hell. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't ask for her help, but she offered so <laughs> And said fucking hell. Table side is what? Table. Why are you doing the flatbread over your table side? She's <laughs> been like, hey, what are you doing here? I think you have a table side. Uh, and you weren't even here to fucking hear it. Are you in there doing Hey, yo, Willie, yeah, where I'm you at, bro? <laughs> Are you still in the stream? As Gizzy shows up fashionably <laughs> late to her tables, over on the blue side. I took a break from the business in my early 20s, then immediately went back in it. I hear Hell's Kitchen grabs many interactions with everyday people. Sometimes I wonder why I come back and then I realize to win Hell's Kitchen, right? <laughs> Just schmoozing, as my father would say. Most definitely. So we're still waiting, that's a special order. Yeah, but let's take us there first, right? Yeah, no, but he's taking too long. Like... Put the so speed up. Yes, chef. You're back in your kitchen now. Yes, speed up. Yes, chef. Well, he wants us to chat with the customers and yabba yeah, dabba do and greet them and then have to shut the fuck up and cook. Well, I tell you, the stress that goes into this. While Brett stalls the blue kitchen, over in the red kitchen, All right, let's go. the rookies have kicked it into gear on appetizers <laughs> and are ready to move on to entrees. Where do you need me, guys? Two I know the chef table in five. VIP. On table B, one pork. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Is the pork in the oven? Pork's on the ground. Why is the pork just gone off? <laughs> oh shit, stop. Oh fucking hell. What in the fuck? Other way. Hey, <laughs> who put this in the oven? 
Oh my god! What the hell is that? Holy shit. <laughs> the man wants to know who did it. Chef Ramsay has made a shocking discovery. Who did it? And embarrassed. Seems like they're a little stressed out right now. I don't understand how you could be cooking fish in that oven all night long. The first thing I notice when I open the oven is the fucking pan of pork chop. 18 season. I've never seen a pig so fucked as that. Fuck. I hate this pork dish. It's stupid. It should be on the fucking meat. It should not be on fish station. Fuck off you, dude. Yeah. But who the fuck puts the pork chop in my oven? Literally. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. I have to flip me kiss. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss that? Okay, here we go. I'm trying to have it to New York Strip. Yeah. Here we go. Strip, the strip. I'm kind of getting annoyed that we keep losing. There's a couple of us that are consistently doing what we're supposed to do. And there's a couple that waver between they're good or they're not. Can you at least season these for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, hey, don't heat it up, dude. Definitely touch it. New York Strip and fries, yes? Uh, walk to the window, walk to the window, walk to the window. Yeah, New York. Yeah, that's a good one. Good night, Chef. <laughs> Kevin, they're not even hot. Let's touch them. Look, I've got one of them. Hey, in the fucking pan. There's a pan smoking there. Why is he so cute when he's out? Because he's British. I'm not throwing out cold fucking food, guys. Instead of using me as a utility that you can help him out, it's more like I'm just going to do it. Just get the fuck out of the way. All right, man. I'm going to turn that, that one down a little bit. While Kevin chooses to fly solo on the meat station, Back in the red kitchen, Chris is hoping to put the pork disaster behind him. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, the pork is right here. Okay, now. Scott, there you go, man. There you go. Nice. Thank you very much. Let's get one beef, one summer, one halibut, one New York strip. Yes, sir. How long am I going to have one halibut? A minute and a half. Let's go. New York strip, fries. Can I fly to beef Wellington? He's asking about the beef wellington. Can I fly beef wellington? Do not, do not, do not. Wait, we should be walking right now. Don't kill him, my meat, dude. In this brigade system, we need to be in sync because okay, if he's okay, off on his there. time, okay, okay, yeah. that's gonna fuck. <laughs> what are we actually waiting on? Okay, I need two and a half minutes of Sammy Alvin, please. It was just 90 seconds. Just let me know when you're planning on walking as well, please. I'm ready to walk. None of my fish are up here. If you don't see my fish on a sizzle pan, why are you walking? So Chef thinks that you're on time and I'm behind? Fuck, man. Walking behind! You're walking fish. Ten seconds, yeah. please. I want you to come down here. Let's play Guess the Temperature. Don't touch it. Guess it. Just with your eyes. Medium you well. Medium well. Over it, does it? Over done. Little waves to it as well. Medium uh, well, Chef. Medium uh, well, Chef. Can I have a fucking steak? You guys, Chef. Come, come the fuck on, dude. I'm trying really hard to be on point with all of my food. It sucks when it's being brought down by someone else. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Alright, go, go. While the red team works through their timing issues, Chef Ramsay is still waiting on season six runner-up, Kevin. Neil Strip. To get it together in the blue kitchen. Come on, Kevin. Right behind, right behind, right behind. That's right, Chef, there you go, Chef. Now. Go. Right behind, right behind, right behind. So tender. One beef, one lamb, one halibut, one salmon. Thank yes, you, Chef. Step into it. I feel like all the right components of a great team are here. We just need to get back on track. Right behind. Hey, Blue Team. Yeah. Kevin and Trev, just step down here a minute. Yeah, what is that? That's overcooked lamb, Trev. Who cooked this? We did. We did? Ah, uh, fuck it now. Trevor, what are you talking about? Don't say shit that ain't true. Lamb rice. I have a lamb right now. Right now. Right, right now. now. We have it. Stop it now. Stop. Blue team. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shit. Not looking forward to this one.
It has been a rough service in the veteran's kitchen. Fucking hell. Stop. Gracie, come here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Kevin's inconsistency on the meat station has their celebrity guests wondering if this is the final curtain. Where did I go? Everybody go. I don't know. What is happening? We're fucking slow. That's over medium to well, and this one's all in the middle. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, I just need some bollocks in here. Yep. Quickly. <coughs> I mean, fucking quickly. Yes, Check it out, guys. Let's yes, go. Chef. Come on, Before tonight, on. I was comfortable working with Kevin. I thought no matter where we would put him, he would be great. Mm, not so much at this point. I got it. I, got it. I know. I just didn't want to. I got it. Just fuck it. All right. Please, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you out, dick. All right, it's ready. Let me know what I'm ready. Right Double check, it's just to make sure. Right. Here we go, third time, lucky. The lamb's fucking raw. Again? Oh my god. Overcooked, undercooked. Raw. What? What? What is happening? What is happening, guys? What is happening, guys? Because it's fucking not right. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not even getting an answer now. Never had a seriously bad night in Hell's Kitchen. Ever. But tonight is pretty bad. I got a lamb here. With Chef Ramsay shepherding the blue team's lamb. Come on, guys. Finish strong, please. Send that, please. The kitchens are now finishing off the last few tickets of the night. 41 and 51 dessert. 51, 41 dessert, chef. Finish strong, guys. Come on, finish strong. Come on, guys. Push it, okay? We got it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You guys were in oblivion this evening. Oblivion. There were so many careless errors in both kitchens. I actually felt we went backwards. So it's very difficult for me to decide which team was worse. But here's my decision. The losing team tonight is the blue team. And the red team. I need both teams to head into the dorms and come back with two nominees for elimination. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fucking marble pulled up on me. Oh, the meat's really issue, right? This was the issue. That's the station. But it's got to be you and Ted and Trev, right? Yeah. There's no need to say anything right. else. I didn't pull my weight tonight. I'll stand up for responsibility. That's what you're supposed to do. We were on meets and we were a team. Done and done. We got lucky, and there was a worse performance over in the red team. And Kevin and I can squeak by with this not pristine service. Oh, no. All right, we're done. It is what it is. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say, Chris, because everybody thought that you didn't know what time it was, you were never starting with not one time. Anytime I need that extra time, I said the time that I needed. Every time. I was so communicative tonight. No one else was. No one fucking said we're back. That poor child, that's what fucking threw me under. I'm gonna go with Chris and Scott. <laughs> you tell me, you know, you're too snappy. You are. I'm man enough to where I'm wrong. You said. Oh, I always cut you off. You, you just start... cut me off, just now. You just did. Right. That's why I'm nominating you. Gibby, Chef, Randy was pissed about that table side, and I think that's one of the reasons why we lost tonight, too. Why you guys didn't say anything? Do you think that if we knew you had a table side, we would have just let you be in the kitchen? It doesn't really fucking matter what they say. I think what matters is what Chef Ramsey thinks, and if he wants me to be here, then I'll stay. And I really hope that's, that's the case, because... I don't want that one silly mistake to say no. <laughs> After an abysmal dinner service by both the rookies and the veterans, Chef Ramsey has asked each team to nominate two <laughs> members for elimination. Great, three teams first nomination and why? First nomination is uh, Kevin Chef. Based on tonight's performance, uh, leading the meat station, uh, station went down hard. Okay, blue team's second nomination and one. Uh, Trevor Chef, being that they were working as a pair, seemed to be our uh, most disastrous station this evening. Scott Lee, red team's first nomination and why? First nomination is Chris Chef. He got bombarded with 
a lot of fish orders and kind of frazzled them. Red Team's second only in Hawaii. Second one is Gizzy, because she was the first one to lead with apps on table side and felt like the ball was dropped on that part. Okay, Trevor, Kevin, Gizzy, Chris, step fours. Gizzy, do you think you're the weakest chef on your team? No, sure. Who is that? I believe that Chris is the weakest individual. Chris is? Yes. Chris, you yes, chef. If you're not the weakest in your team, who is? No, I would say Mia, chef. Mia. Why? You need to be able to lead. She doesn't lead. She demands. She demands things. Trevor. Yes, chef. What did you do tonight? Work the meats with Kevin. What did you actually cook physically? Nothing. Kevin, bad service, right? Absolutely, Chef. All I can say is I hit the ground running, I dust it off, and I move forward. That's what leaders do, pick up and go. My decision is... Kevin, take your jacket off. Both teams struggled through their third dinner service. Chef Ramsey has asked both the rookies and the veterans to put up two people for elimination. Kevin, bad service, right? <laughs> Absolutely, Chef. Kevin, Trevor, Gizzy, and Chris were nominated by their teams. All I can say is I hit the ground running, I dust it off, and I move forward. That's what leaders do, pick up and go. My decision is... Kevin, take your jacket off. Kevin? Yes, Chef. You're going to the red team. <laughs> yes, Chef. Gizzy. <clears throat> what does table side mean? I'm table side. That's right. Give me a jacket. I expected more from you, you know that. I expected more from myself, Chef. Yeah, well, let's see how you do in the blue team. Get over there. Thank you, Chef. Trevor, give me a jacket, young man. Get yourself in the red team. <laughs> Chris, shit night tonight. Yes, yeah, chef. Last chance. Red team, back in line. Yes, yeah, chef. Mia and Kanae, take off your jackets. You're going to the blue team. Brett, take off your jacket. You're going to the red team. Chef. Rookies versus veterans. Forget it. The experiment is over. With both teams not performing, I need to change the chemistry in both kitchens. It's now men versus women. Now do me a big favor. Fuck off with you. Yes, chef. I'm so excited. I'm off of Scotland's team. I feel like this guy is going to end up digging his own grave. I think this change is a good thing. So we're back to basics, guys versus girls. We'll see what happens. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm very sorry for letting you down, but I feel like you believe in me. And I'm going to take this new opportunity and really use it to my advantage, and I will show you. I will show you that I'm meant to be here. Rookies, veterans, the only title I really care about is executive chef. It's time to see who will lead and who will fall. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, it's an all-new House of Horrors and the terrifying new teams. Welcome, girls.
are scaring us. Drama. I've never had a loss of words. Right now, I'm a little, huh? Will one rookie's nerves? She's a little nervous. Create a descent into madness. The murder scene over here. Mark, she cuts it again. Then she's just slaughtering. He's well in him. And in an all-out bloodbath. You're crazy. Tell her to stop doing it. And will one veteran torture a rookie just for the fun of it? Go see Mark and Fast and tell us and talk to us. <laughs> it's all next time. Are you trying to be funny? On a frightening episode oh, of Hell's Kitchen. I have no clue what to be afraid of. I'm about to find out. Not everybody is going to finish this course. I'm now. This is so hard. This is not a normal adventure race. Olympic gold medalist Brian Boitano and guest chef Tracy Desjardins judge the teams in the first ever Hell's Kitchen Soup Challenge. Amazing. Great flavors. Yet again, Mia served up a bowl of perfection. Yeah. If Brian's well, that would be a gold medal. And along with Gizzy and Kane, yes. led the impressive rookies to a blowout victory. Rookies, you have beaten the all stars. Yeah. That was a big body blow right there. Yeah. <laughs> While the rookies bask in the warmth of their winning streak. Holy <laughs> the veterans endured another morale-chilling punishment. I'm kind of getting annoyed that we keep losing. At dinner service. Baby, just do it. Stop, stop, stop. The red team began to splinter. Hey, Sorry. don't do this dumb shit. Yes, sir. And Gizzy's failure to show up in the dining room. Why aren't you table side, young lady? And Chris's stolen <laughs> communication on the fish station. Miss Emma Halbert, I need a minute and a half. We should be walking right now. Resulted in the worst dinner service yet for the rookies. Why are you walking? So Chef thinks that you're on time and I'm behind? In the blue kitchen. The lamb's fucking wrong. Kevin curbed Chef Ramsay's enthusiasm. Oh. When he delivered three bad proteins in a row. Come on, Kevin. Why the fuck did I come back to this shit? Putting all eyes on the meat station. Who cooked this? We did. We did? The losing team tonight is the blue team and the red team. The red team nominated. Chris Chef. And. Gizzy. While the blue team put up. Kevin Chef. And. Travel Chef. But Chef Ramsay shocked them all. Kevin, you're going to the red team. Gizzy. Blue team. <laughs> With the hope that this shakeup of the teams would get these talented chefs back in the groove. Rookies versus veterans. The experiment is over. And now, the competition to become the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas continues. <laughs> Fuck off with you. The chef. Oh, oh, oh. That was unexpected <laughs> as. I, I never, never had a loss of words right now. I'm a little, huh? Damn, yo, I'm shocked. And now just like that, it's men versus women. Yo, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are on our team. For sure. We're not going to try to dance around girls' emotions. We're going to be direct because we're men. We got each other's backs, bros before hoes. Do you have kids? My daughter's 11 and my son is 4. Your life changes when you have kids, man. Mm -hmm. Your priorities are just totally mm -hmm. taken on a different meaning. My kids are definitely the reason why I'm here. Growing up in the Bronx, my grades weren't great in school. I spent some time in the streets. Never really focused on how serious life is. The main thing is make sure your kids are always, always, always priority number one, no matter what else in life it is. And then, you know, I became a father, and it's all about showing them that I'm driven, and I take not only my family serious, but my career serious, that I'm doing this for them. It's wonderful, man. I couldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, yeah, Thank <laughs> you.
reboot. I do look good in blue though, you know. Dave's beast mode. Come on, Blue. Better wait for your team. Good morning. We have a very special guest here this morning. I'd like you to meet a Grammy-nominated composer. He's written for Miley Cyrus. You've heard of the song, Wrecking Ball? Yes, yes. And he's also written for Celine Dion. Please welcome Stefan Mafia. So good to see you. Thank you. Welcome to House Kitchen. Now, all of you, listen very carefully. People who are at the top of their profession possess great versatility. Stefan here is comfortable playing in the classical style. Rock and roll. The blues. Let's hear it for Stefan. Come on. Holy cow, we got a major player here. Literally, a major player in the dining room <laughs> right now. Thank you so much for coming today. Best wish. Come on, guys. Hey. Listen carefully. A great musician is like a great chef. He has the ability to work across a wide variety of styles. <laughs> today, each team will work with the same incredible protein cooked seven different ways. Steamed. Wood burning oven baked, grilled, <laughs> poached, hot smoked, pan seared, and shallow fried. <coughs> so I'm thinking about a protein that lends itself to many different techniques. What comes to mind to me is fish. Mourinho, wake up. Let's go. Uh, Christina John, can you help him out, please? Yep. Mourinho, here you go. No, come on, seriously? Out of all the fish in the sea, you pick, like, the dirty little cousin to the sardine. Where's the fish I ordered? I don't know. If it's... I got these. What the f Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I almost farted. I almost... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the snakes all over again. Fuck me. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, for today's challenge, each team will produce seven incredible halibut dishes. You've all got 45 minutes. The time starts now. Let's go. Let's go. This one is the challenge. One squad for the homies. Thank you. Guys, just remember you've only got one piece of fish yet. So you've got no margin for error. What are you working on? Uh, I'm going to do a fry, it's like a bang bang cauliflower, it's my side. I'm going to do a classic tapiote with it. Sounds good. Because it's like a steamed fish. So you have the parchment paper, keeping the steam and liquid in, which keeps the fish moist. Are you going to pop it in front of Chef? Like, that's how you'll present it? Or are you, yeah, I'm going to pop it right in front of it. Just making a simple stock right now. We glaze with a little bit of uh, fish stock. Lime? Yeah. No, just touch. Gotcha. But yeah. Chef, so do we have any yellow food color? Yellow food color? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yellow food color? Golly, how about I go in the back and see if we got some finger paints and you can draw your dish first. Number nine. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good idea, right? I just need to brighten up my, my gas three. Do you have any turmeric, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yellow food color. It's not an Easter egg challenge. Keep an eye on him, man. Come on. 15 minutes left. Yes, yes. That went really fast. It's not ready yet? You see how it's cracking at the top? It's still, <laughs> it's still wrong on the inside. I know. Oh my god. My fish is falling apart. And I'm freaking out a little bit. It's like a murder scene over here. I might break it apart. Would that be a bad idea? It came apart in three perfect pieces. So I'm taking this and I'm like, all right, this seems like it was a mistake, but I'm going to spin it as it's supposed to be this way. How you doing, guys? Good, good. 60 seconds to go, guys. Yes? Finishing touches. Come on. Does anybody need help? Still a team. Everybody feeling good? Come on, Scotty. Today, how are you looking? I'm looking good. Playing it right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and <laughs> serve. <laughs> to help me judge today, I've reached out to a very dear friend of mine. He has three critically acclaimed restaurants. Michelin star award-winning chef <laughs> David Lefebvre. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. 
David the Favor, great chef, great restaurants. Chef Ramsey has the coolest friends. Those restaurants, how would you nail the success behind the Lotus Suite? Well, I think it's important to take a look at innovation. You can't get caught just doing the same thing over and over, even though people like it. You've got to continue to be creative. <laughs> uh, this man never stops. <laughs> Let's start off with the battle of the grilled halibut. Rex and Gizzy. <laughs> Just so Wait, please explain. Uh, so here I have a soy and sriracha marinated halibut grilled, roasted <laughs> beach mushroom slaw with some grilled baby bok choy. Be careful with soy because it can draw some of the moisture out of the fish that's already pretty lean. Flavors are really nice, it looks beautiful, but the texture of it is <laughs> slightly dry just because of that soy. Gizzy, describe yours to chef. Thank you. Um. So I have a grilled flaked halibut. I wanted to do smaller medallions so I could get a little harder sear. A blistered tomato vinaigrette and charred onion pickle. I hope that she's fixed her dish. I'm a little anxious, but I have faith in you guys. The flavor on it is great. I mean, this is seasoned very, very well. Yeah, of course I like that idea you split to three so you can cook it evenly. Mm -hmm. um, Chef, to the point of gizzy or breads, um, please. I think in this situation, just in terms of hitting the temperature and the texture correctly, I think gizzy's the one that's going to go. Yeah, yes. I didn't expect anything like that to happen in a million years. Right, next up, battle of the steamed powder. So we have Chris and Mir. Oh, and Mir, too, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you go first, Mir, because you've got your uh, sauce. Of course. Of course you have a table side fucking pork. She's an overachiever and pompous about it, so like, I can't wait to squash her. So I wanted to make uh, a very flavorful broth, yet still delicate because it's such a delicate piece of fish. So the broth is amazing. You did a really nice job on the steaming of this fish. I'll take the rest to go. All right, Chris, please, you join on Happy Ops? Yes, Chef, I have Happy Ops. Cabbage on the bottom with some uh, purple potatoes. With some papillotes, it's tough to tell if it's done, so you, you have to hit it right on. Otherwise, it's going to be under, it's going to be over, and once you go up to the table, like there's no point of return. Yeah. 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 It's cooked actually very well. <laughs> Hot damn, that's what's up, man. But the ingredients that you're putting in there, you want to be aromatic. Season needs to be on point. Yeah. Because you can't season it off, though. I think Mia has the edge in this one for the point. Yeah. Well done, Mia. Chris kind of screwed me over last night, so I kind of just want to rub it in his face. How'd that feel, Chris? Hmm? Absolutely incredible. Post halibut, please. Let's go. With Chris's high-risk attempt on steamed fish falling flat, the newly formed men's team will need Kevin to rebound with his. Coconut curry broth. I poached the halibut in the broth. That texture is really nice and moist. The broth is incredibly flavorful, and the cooking technique was done very, very well. While veteran Kevin looks to knock out his competition, veteran Roe counters with her. IPA and butter poached halibut. The fish itself is <laughs> properly. The smoked tomato broth is really nice, so I think you've done a very good job. But the halibut that Kevin has done really hit what poaching technique should be, and I think the flavor is great, so I'd give the point to Kevin. Good job, that flavor packed a punch, and I won the point. Yeah, good stuff. That's a really good feeling right now. That helps drive me. Next up, the battle of the hot smoked. Let's go, please. It's now up to rookie Scotley to try and tie it up against rookie Kane with his smoked halibut and applewood chips. I don't get a ton of smoke on it, so if you're gonna go with some stronger other flavors, make sure you have enough smoke to hold up to that. Okay, yes, sir. With Scotley failing to properly use the smoking technique, the door is open for Kanae's smoked halibut and baba ganoush. The texture of the fish is great. It's very, very moist. The point's going to? Kanae, you did a great right job. Thank you so much, I appreciate you guys. Yeah! I'm gonna beat my chest! Sorry, Scott Lee. Don't underestimate the women! <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, battle of the shallow fries. Let's go. As the ladies extend their lead, it's Ariel's turn to try and impress the judges with her shallow fried halibut and tomatillo sauce. It really pops. It really works well together. The pressure is now on Jose with his shallow fried halibut featuring bacon braised red cabbage. The dish is really prepared well. It's flavorful. The fish is spot on cooked. It's cooked with hump. They're both good. I would give them both a point for this. <laughs> I really put my heart into that dish. And hearing that from Chef Ramsey, it, it meant the world to me. <laughs> Next up, battle of the pan seared halibut. Mono and Heather. With the red team down two points with only two rounds to go, 
It's up to rookie Mato's pan-seared halibut to keep their hopes alive. Beautiful presentation. Mato's halibut looks sexy. I want to dig my face into his dish. Like, that looks so fucking good. Seasoning on this. Very nice. Oh, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Properly cooked. You push the fish and it holds. That's the point where it's right there. Oh, fuck, man. I want some of that fish so bad. It tastes really great. Thank you. It really does. Right, uh, I'll describe your dish, please, the chef. The chef I have for you is a pan-seared halibut. I butter basted it with a little bit of star anise and a little bit of fennel and a parsnip beet fennel puree under here. You go ahead and it. Mmm, The puree is very good. That citrus is like, it's almost like having a startup yeah. power to it, right? Yeah, very good. Is it mud up and red tea, or does the point belong to Heather, or are both dishes good enough to warrant the point? <laughs> In today's challenge, the chefs are cooking halibut using seven different techniques. The women hold a 4 2 lead <laughs> over the men, and after Motto presented his pan seared halibut, very nice. Tastes really great. It really does. Veteran Heather now has a chance to win the challenge for the blue team. The puree is very good. Yeah, very good. But I have to say, the halibut, it isn't seasoned enough. I really think that Motto, you've earned the point on this one. Thank you, Joe. Nice. All right, Motto. Now we're back in it. We have some hope now. Final battle. Wood burning oven baked halibut. Let's go, T. Let's go. And Trev. I want nothing to do with this woman at all whatsoever. Battle of the Teas. I know this is a good dish. This is a winner. I'm excited to bury this bitch. Right, T, describe your dish to Chef. Thank you. I want the dish to stand on its own. So it is a ginger sake broth and uh, just some kumquats for a little extra citrus. The fish, it's super tasty. That really hits that on all marks. To a tea. To a tea. <laughs> Trevor, explain this to Chef. T. So we fired the... Uh, Halibut with just a hint of S&P and some butter. You wanna make sure you get that good sear and then bring it back so you're not overcooking anything. Something I really like to do with my food is babysit. Like to How much you get 12 bucks an hour for that? Yeah, you know, sometimes it depends on where you're at. Uh, I would never leave my children alone with Trevor. Absolutely not. I like the combination of tomatoes and arugula, a classic, right? Job well done, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef. Right, so I both take your dishes back in line. I want this win bad. I can taste it, like, I need it. I need to get out of here. Does the point go to Trevor and the red team to even it, or does the point go to T with the victory? Bottom of the ninth, two outs, down by one, man on first, and here's the pitch, it's a swing! I think I have to go with the blue team with T. And a fucking miss, bro. Really? Good job, ladies. Uh, I finally get to leave Elf's Kitchen. Thank you, ladies. Join me in thanking this incredible chef, um, an absolute asset. Good luck, guys. Keep going. Ladies, all of you are going to be traveling to the top of a skyscraper, 100 stories above the ground. All of your courage will be tested as you walk a narrow plank from the top of the building. If you survive that, you'll fight the zombie apocalypse. What? I'm sending you all for a truly incredible virtual reality experience. Yes! <laughs> Zombies, count me in. I am a super nerd, as everybody knows, so virtual reality, zombie apocalypse, and I am so stoked about this. Good job, good job. Brenty, I'm expecting any minute now a giant, humongous dumpster breathing with since we've been opening this competition, we've been saving all of our waste. And today is composting day, so we're going to take all those trash, mix it in with the manure. Kevin, are you okay? I'm wonderful, Chef. Yeah, I can tell. I'm sick of losing, man. <laughs> Came back for redemption. Came back to win. I certainly did not come back here to shovel some shit, man. <laughs> Oh, gross. It just smells 
disgusting. Yay, ladies, say out. This whole punishment stinks. It stinks like nobody's freaking business. I mean, we got shit on one end. Nasty garbage organic crap right here, and then we got all the other stuff that's in the <laughs> bins already. I mean, now we're gonna smell not only like BO, but we're gonna smell like shit all day. Great, this is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to VR territory. Silver spoon growing up, did you? Nope. Grew up in the country. I've been through way worse shit than this. And I started picturing my grandfather. He wouldn't have let me slack off on a load back then, so I'm not slacking off now. Show them how fast we get out, dude. Hard work doesn't scare me. Hard work is the reason I've got to this point in my career. Did you start the face? No, it's like we're down on the farm. This one's gross. Scuba diving car, wakeboarding. It sounds like you got an empire. All of a sudden you put on the brakes and come out here. So why did you agree to this? Revenge, right? Last time I was here, I got denied something I felt I earned truly. This time, four punishments this guy's had to do. You can only take a kick in the crotch so many times. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what? As the women step back so into the hell's kitchen reality. We can't zombies like we're gonna kill you tonight. <laughs> Chef Ramsay has one more reward waiting for them in the dorms. <laughs> oh my god, they got one! Oh my god! That's so cute! Did you enjoy this incredible gift and use it well? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Vitamin! Yo, man's a pimp. <laughs> this is the best present yeah. so far. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> it's the first dinner service with rookies and vets working together. No shopping up there. You're shopping up for me. And for some of the rookies. Why have you cut these? Why? Is he crazy? It's sink or swim. Are those two sink the blue team? Those two are going home. Rio. See chef. Open up. Let's go. Sum it up. Tonight, the battle of the sexes returns to Hell's Kitchen. Come on, Hello. 
Loki Jones. We got this. We got this. Yeah. Rookies and veterans <laughs> alike are looking to impress with their newly formed teams. Take and make. You want to be the shake or you want to be the shake? <laughs> As another A-list crowd arrives, excited to sample Chef Ramsay's <laughs> outstanding cuisine. Okay, so we're Team Blue. <laughs> Along with a wide variety of menu items. The lobster wellings. Why not? Are you ready to go, That's my brother. Served by Heather for the blue team and Chris for the red team. You know, it's pretty strong as a flavor. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, is this good? Yes. yes. I'm excited to have the rookies on my team. They've all been strong in challenges. Welcome, girls. Try not to sound too creepy saying it. Welcome, girls. <laughs> Good luck. Two twos. Let's go. Two skulls, one cup and arm. One muscle, table side. Yes, sir. Yeah. Two scouts in one minute. Hit the pan. Scouts are in the pan right now. It's our first night together with all the ladies, and I hope I can figure out how to totally just manipulate all of them to follow my lead so that Great we can body. get just a win under our belt. Can I go up? I can't sell these scouts. These shits are fucking... I don't know what is wrong with them. I'm gonna sell you one and drag on one scallop, okay? I'm literally 30 seconds behind. Fettuccine? Scallop! You want me to sell this one and not this one, right? Yeah, sell okay. that one, please. I can't sell these. Sure, scallops. What's the other scallop? You know what? That's my brother. But then he grabs him. Behind you. Scallops? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look. I've got milky scallops, so just want to put them over. Right, no, but look, look, look. First of all, why are we putting two portions in one pan? Chef, I told you not. Never mind. Wait, that's not the one that you didn't want. There were two scallops. Right, I told you not to sell one. one because it's not ready. I got the second one going right here. Chef, that's, that's our bad. Ariel, don't touch anything on my fucking station. Don't touch my spoon, my butter, my oil. It could be on fucking fire. Don't touch it. Talk to me, T. I'll take it. Chef, I got your perfect scallops right now, Chef. Walking with scallops. Nice cooked scallops. After tea's quick recovery on scallops. Chorizo, are you guys spicy, not spicy? Spicy? All right, good. And with Heather's tableside service hopping. I apologize. The blue team is off to a solid start. Go. Unfortunately, Chris's tableside service is not. Hey, Chris, come here. What have you got going on? Yes, sir. You've got nothing going on. Yes, so why aren't you in here? Look at me, red team. Yes, sir. Tall. It's two silence. Yes, sir. An order and fire. Two minutes from now, two scallops on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> is, is anything I can help you with, though? No, I'm good, man. I have to do something. <laughs> Sorry, I got you. There it is. Do you have one? Jose, you okay over there? I'm all right. Bono? I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I got you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'd rather, if I'm going to go down, I want to help. I want to help. I came in here to help you. Can you take it? Okay. As long as you do it right, you good? I will. All right, make sure it happens. All right, here we go. Locked and loaded. I love cooking scallops. I love this station. I'm pumped. Scallops working hard. Scallops working. How long two scallops? Chef, I got about another 30 seconds. No way. No, you got 45 seconds. 60 seconds, Chef. Why are they taking so long? Chris, man. If we're going to be late on it, we got to be right on it. Scallops too late. Scallops too late. <laughs> Man's bored. Hi, Red Team. Oh, God. Here we go again. Look what I've got. And we're sending that to customers. You know better, brother. I know you know this. God knows this. Meaning Kevin, of course. And he's going to kill you. I'll cook the skull. Portion me out two skulls. Uh, My patience are done. You know, I try to give Chris the benefit of the doubt, but you know what? Fuck you, man. He's like me to finish this out for you. You watch no, the fuck no. the pad. I heard, I heard with the pad. Fuck him out your pad and tell us and talk to us. Well, the red team looks for a safe place to hide Chris. Blue diners are starting to enjoy their appetizers. Really well done. Very good. And the women have moved on to their first order of entrees. Yeah, you're coming with a Wellington, yes? Yes, right now. Under? No, what? Me. Under? Let's see this one here. <laughs> Yo, it's that. How you gonna leave me like that, bro? Oh my god. She slaughtering that beef wellington. Under? And she cooked it again. And she's just, like, just butchering that. Wellington? Mia! Look what she's 
Put it down. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Why have you cut these? Why? It's 40 minutes into dinner service, and while the newly formed blue team has had success with their appetizers, <laughs> Mia's search for the perfect Wellington Under. has brought the first order of entrees to a screeching halt. Put it down. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Why have you cut these? Why? How do you gauge whether or not it's cooked? What do you do? What do you do? Thank you. There's your indication there. That's super pink. So you get it back in and you haven't destroyed it. Hey, you ladies, come up here. I'm busting my ass up here trying to help you, but you're not fucking listening. I turn my back and they're fucked. Tell her to stop doing it. Is she crazy? I didn't do anything. I put these back together. I literally said that by mistake, but no, like, I mean, like, I, I mean, I got lots of time, you know? <laughs> Those thumbs up don't seem too appealing now. <laughs> Those thumbs up don't seem too appealing now. Go. We have another one after this. Put it back together. Keep it together. That's my brother. It's my and if you cross him, you cross him. But I don't trip over the same stone twice. Okay, see that's hot. You're gonna you get it. Them together and you're gonna keep them tight. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mia is strong when she's cooking her own dishes, but everything changes come dinner service. Stop being so frazzled, Mia. Mia, ask me before you cut the next one, okay? Yes, sir. One beef wellington, one salmon, one halibut, one lobster wellington. Yes, Two beef wellingtons in, let's go. Let's yes, go. Yes, chef. Scott Lee, multitasking, yes? Yes, chef. Scott Lee, three minutes to the window. I'm waiting on garnish. Got potato puree going. Creamy, salty, sexy. Scott Lee. Scott Lee, you good? Scott Lee, you're supposed to be driving a train. Come on, brother. What are you doing right now? Scott Lee, how long? Nothing. Not only not an answer, but literally, the guy's doing nothing. Wellington's up. Are you still waiting on match? Yes, chef. Garnish. No, I got you right here, chef. Yeah, no, but it's just, it's just a bit weird for me. All this fucking time, you haven't got the garnish in there. You've got to think a little bit, young man. Yes, chef. It's just too casual for me. It's yes, not sharp enough up there. You may be a good cook, but you're not sharp enough for me. This is a new system, working with new guys, and that communication definitely wasn't good, but I know I'm way better than that. I know I'm way better than that. Garnish up, Scott Lee. Yeah, I already went. So away now, two lobster, one lamb, one duck. Yes, chef. Guys, I'm two minutes out on lamb. Just keep it in the oven to finish getting that crust. But I'm nervous about it. Okay, she's nervous about it. So let's give it the time. Bro, give her one extra minute, please. What's the extra minute for? Chef, the lamb is running a little behind. By the way, T, is she telling you one minute for lamb? Was that you telling her? No, chef. She was telling me she's a little nervous. I was a little nervous about the lamb. You need to start cooking yes. your own fucking food. Yes, chef. Yeah? It's just a bit strange for me. Yeah, absolutely. You need to cook with confidence. That's that's the whole thing. That's strange. If she doesn't start trusting that natural instinct as a chef, I can see it <coughs> being a problem for the blue team in the future. Blue team? Look. It's perfectly cooked. Awesome. It's beautiful. You gotta have some confidence in your ability. Absolutely. It's absolutely perfect. Yes, yeah, chef. I don't get it. Right, chef. It's so weird. We have to trust Mia and Gibby to do their job, but they don't even trust themselves. Why are you so scared? Hey, hey, you and you, come here. Hey, hey team, they need to run their station. Yes, chef. Okay? And those two seats, the blue team, those two are going home. But they need to fucking run their station now. Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Now, you two, sort it out. Go on. How many salmon do I have all day? One all day. You let me know when you're ready, I can go. Two salmon to New York trip? How long? How long salmon to New York? Oh, no, no, no. I need, I, give me six minutes, please. Six, six. minutes, please. <laughs> I didn't know I had two salmon. I have one ready. Scott Lee, you drive the ship. Garnish station. What's going on? <sighs> All right, here we go. The hell am I gonna make this happen in six minutes? I have to add wicked hot, hot butter. I'm gonna take a risk with this, but I gotta get this salmon up before he loses his mind. Right here, right here, please, right here, please. Thank you. Behind, 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 behind. Look at this. Oh, 
back down the end here a minute. Just, uh, I, just stop that. This is hell. This is just getting ugly and more embarrassing. What I'm concerned about is just the way we're cooking the salmon. Do you think that's raw? Raw. Are you trying to be funny? This newly formed men's team, made up of rookies and veterans, has been struggling all night. You think that's raw? Raw. Are you trying to be funny? No, sir. They are fucking rubber. And for Chef Ramsay, it's no laughing matter. Do me a favor. I'll finish this. Fuck off in the storeroom and sort your differences out. They're fucking private. I'm fucking cooking garnish. I can't do the pass no more. Okay. I can't expect me to do the pass if I'm cooking fucking garnish. Fuck kind of word is that, Scott? Wait, you can't. You're supposed to be a chef, aren't you? That's your job. No, did somebody do the fucking pass. Who's gonna work with him? Yeah. I am. You don't watch the right. pass. We eat all fucking days, all yeah, day long. Fair do it. Come on. Is this the red team that I know? No, it's not. Is it over? No, it's not. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? No, and it's not over yet. Come on. Can I go Halibut, Wellington? Halibut's up. They're behind. Chef, Halibut's here. Wellington, sauce. I'm ready to go Wellington. Yeah, garnish is gone. Right now. Right behind the Wellington, Chef. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, boy. They give it up. Up, don't <laughs> hey, just put your finger in there. I didn't do anything. <laughs> just put your finger in there. I, I literally said that just by mistake, but don't, no, like, I mean, like, I, like, I, I, mean, I got lots of time, you know? How pathetic. Not even a boiling <laughs> fucking sauce. When you can't be bothered, leave me, hey, all of you, enough's enough. I've taken shit all night. Every fucking table's been a battle, and I'm done. All of you, try and do something as a team. Fuck off out of here, and have a great discussion about two individuals that you want to get rid of, get out! Sorry, Chef. Cold sauce, my bad. No, I love it. Last table, Blue Team, yes? I'm about to walk through it. Walking to change it up, guys. Peaceful, let's go, you. Stop, beautifully cooked, crispy skin. New York strip, nicely cooked, pork nicely cooked. Yeah, Blue Team? Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. It's so tropical. That's it. Kizzy. When you cook like that and everything is absolutely on point, why are you holding back? I'm looking for a leader. Yes, you can cook. You better find your voice. Self doubt. That's all it is. I think that's what sucks is that mm -hmm. other people can be loud and confident and fucking suck at this. Mm -hmm. And at least they have a voice. Help me to help you. Sure. Got it? Sure. Breathe. It's good. You're good. Just breathe, okay? He would not be on your ass if he didn't think there was more inside you. I promise you. <laughs> Trust me. He was so on my ass the way he is on you. They're hard on me because they know that I can do this. I feel like they know it more than I do sometimes. You gonna find your voice? Yeah? Okay. Come on. Good job. Thank you. Leading up to getting kicked out of the kitchen, the most fun was on the fish station. I had to salmon come back, but I didn't know where I was, so that's the problem they had. After Andre just started coming choices. in, there's no way. There is a way. I did it. That's okay. how you do that station. In my mind, Scott Lee should go home. I went down because he couldn't figure out how to communicate what you're supposed to do. I know I fucked up, you know what I mean? I personally have to go Kevin. With Scott Lee? No, Scott Lee and Kev. You know, bringing all their stations. People put my name up because I had two things come back. You know, but what about the lack of leadership <laughs> in anybody else? Chris, go ahead. Who's your two? I would say Scott Lee and Brad. Who wants a soft finish to the service? I'm going to get y'all two. Brett, he's going to have the cold sauce. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm baffled. <laughs> sauce. I'm not going home because of the cold sauce. Yo, so had there not been mistakes in dinner service, cold sauce would have got us kicked out, right? I'm just thinking, right? No, no. we wouldn't have been kicked out. No, we wouldn't have been kicked out. Right. Because I think me going up for elimination on a cold sauce behalf is fuckery. To be honest with you. Every Wellington was perfect? They weren't all perfect. Did that ruin dinner service? Oh, that was one of many things, dude. I mean, okay, we, we, had had problems. Problems. we had problems. Okay, problems. what were the other problems, bro? Spit it out. 
Dude, I've been telling you what's on my fucking mind. There's a lot of big barking and no bite, bro. You want to talk to talk, like walk the motherfucker. I don't deserve to go up because of the cold sauce. That's for damn sure. Oh, I'm dead. ladies of the newly formed blue team won the dinner service. The men of the red team must nominate two chefs for elimination. Red team, have you reached a decision? Yeah. Trip, red team's first nomination and why please? First nomination for the red team is Scott Lee, chef. Cars with one of the problems that we have this evening with timing and communication. Red team's second nomination. Second nomination was Kevin. Why? The salmon that came back seemed like that's uh, when everything started to break down. Scott, like Kevin, step forward, please. Kevin, second time in a row. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I got fighting the chef. You know that. I'm not always yelling and screaming, but I'm a very confident person. I communicated very well. You know, I need to kick a little rust off, and this is definitely a wake-up call, chef. Scott, like, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm a good chef. I'm determined to win. I'm not here to lay down. Yes, I could have communicated better, but I didn't go down hard like how the fish station went down tonight. Fish station didn't go down hard. I had two friggin' things. You, you know? didn't give me definite time. One okay. minute is eight okay. minutes, then going back, oh, I need okay. eight more minutes. Like, come okay. on. Garnish drives a shit. Everybody knows that. Everyone's always known that. You are the one that communicates. You can't say, I can't do it. The fuck? You're gonna give up? I got so much fire in me, you know, I'm not ready to go home. You know, I step up and say, yeah, I, I messed up. I fucked up tonight, Chef. But you know what? It's not over for me, and I know that. This is a very different decision. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Kevin. Give me your jacket. I'm not feeling the desire. When you've got success outside this competition, and you are nowhere near as hungry now as you were last time you graced this floor, I wish you nothing but success. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming back. Any time. Good luck. Peace out. Eight long years I've been chewing on this. I came back for redemption. I already run several restaurants right now. So he's right. I didn't have that fire. I'm going to give my kids a hug and a kiss, and I'm going skiing. Scotty, back in line. I just want to make one thing very clear. Do not ever underestimate the importance of being passionate. When you give up, I'm going to give up on you. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Get out of there. I have a bullseye on my head, but I'm going to make sure that I do everything to perfection so nobody can put the blame on me. I'm a strong chef. I know I'm a damn good leader. Our big brother is gone. Somebody's got to fill those shoes, and I'm ready for it. Kevin getting eliminated this early, a chef of his caliber, it is a wake-up call for everyone to get their shit together, or you can be next. Kevin was a standout in his first time in Hell's Kitchen. Unfortunately, this time around, we seem more determined to head back to the ski slopes than to the Las Vegas Strip. Next time on a very special episode of Hell's Kitchen. Yes, you and I are still on the same page. Will a budding friendship be cut short by a painful quarrel? How did you support me tonight? You didn't have my back. That was all you, oh, not God. me. And will one woman's battle to save the relationship? I want this more than anything. You bet your ass I'm ready to fight for it. No, I'm not even gonna go there with you right now. Nope, nope, oh. nope. Fall on deaf ears. Can you at least talk so we can stay on the same page? T won't even speak to Heather. And when all hope seems lost, Please would be nice, right? Will it break Chef Ramsey's heart? What's happened? Oh! Chef. And tear the blue team apart. You're done. Who cares? Damn. Find out next week on a heart-wrenching episode. It hit you in the feels. Of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> So
Something is not right. We need to find out what it is. They're watching me. I'm talking about ghosts, baby. Previously on Hell's Kitchen. The chefs were challenged to cook fish using seven different techniques. Steamed, baked, grilled, poached, hot smoked, pan seared, and shallow fried. Hot damn, that's what's up, man. To be judged by Michelin star chef David LaFever. Jeff Ramsey has the coolest friends. Season six runner up Kevin scored for the red team. That texture is really nice and moist, so I'd give the point to Kevin. Hey, right. While all of the other points went to the blue team. Today, you did a great job. Can you have the edge on this one for the point? Thank you. I think I have to go with the blue team with team. And the newly formed women's team won the challenge. You can only take a kick in the crotch so many times. At dinner service. She was telling me she's a little nervous. I was like, a little nervous about the layer. Blue team rookies, Gizzy. You need to start cooking yes. your own fucking food. Yes, chef. And Mia. Why have you cut these? Why? Both initially struggled with their confidence. Are those two safe, the blue team? Those two are going hard. But quickly bounced back. It's perfectly cooked. I don't trip over the same stone twice. In the red kitchen. Is there anything I can help you with, though? I got it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Jose, you okay over there? I'm all right. Toronto? Rookie Chris struggled to find a place on his new team. Who <laughs> wants to pass and tell us and talk to us? And veteran Kevin forgot his place with Chef Ramsay. Bro, you think that's wrong? Are you trying to be funny? Oh, God. Get out! The red team lost and nominated... Scott Lee, Chef. And... Kevin? In the end, Chef Ramsay eliminated Kevin. You are nowhere near as hungry as you were last time you graced this floor. Who didn't have the drive to become the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of there. For sure. Yes, yeah, Chef, yeah. Chef. Good night, Chef. I don't know what happened. I don't know either. Wow, I'm extremely surprised. Kevin was a phenomenal chef. I don't know. But hey, this year's competition, and it's one less person in my way to the prize at hand. And now, we got us. We got to beat these girls. They got two big personalities in there right now that are going to butt heads very soon, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you it's going to happen. So now we have to modify a couple of things. You guys need to stop second-guessing yourself. There's nothing that I can do to teach you meat temperatures in five minutes. You know that shit. The rookies have to step up. There's no room for B and C games. You gotta bring your A++ game. You here for one reason. Fucking cook food and get your hand on that fucking door. I'm not feeling that great. You know, I'm, I'm starting to doubt things. I'm starting to doubt things, you know, because of my accident. I have some past demons, you know, and I've worked so hard to be this optimistic man. And if I feel like I'm losing that, like, there's no purpose. I'm kind of losing myself to this competition. Uh. Good morning, and welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I'm Trev. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, isn't it? Let's go. Too bad I haven't seen the outside of these fucking walls in two weeks. Jesus Christ, can we get on with it? Good morning. Good morning, Chef. There are many legends in the comedy world. Today, you all have the good fortune of meeting a household name. His brand is known across the entire world. Please welcome the one and only. Come on out. They say I'm greedy. Want to join them? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I said 
a legend. It is right here. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, he's seen all these things in 30 fucking years. He could put his eyes on his ear and his ears on his eye and his nose on his dick. He could stick anything anywhere for decades. This toy has encouraged creativity and imagination around the world. For today's challenge, I want you all to create a dish with the potato as a key component. <coughs> here. I want your imaginations running wild. Jockey Christina. <laughs> One for each of you. <laughs> Inside this bucket are dozens of potato head little attachments, each labeled with an ingredient. You have 30 seconds to collect as many ingredients as you need to build your dish. <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm counting the people, you know, I'm like, no, we don't have enough pieces here, that, not at all. Marina, we need more. Oh, oh, my God. oh Lord. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> In part one of today's challenge, each body part the chef select will be attached to their Mr. Potato Head. Ooh, I can't find a damn protein. And the corresponding ingredient must be used in their dish. Nobody see the shrimp there? I haven't seen shrimp at all. No problem. I dropped to my knees and I'm picking through like I'm looking for lice in my daughter's fucking hair. Don't step on me. Ow. Oh, I'll take one. Thanks. 15 seconds! The arm goes on the leg and the eyes go in the air. I don't care. It's like a new eyes. Chicken, red cabbage. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Thanks for the ingredients. We all win this right here. Do you see the resemblance? Your time starts now. In today's Mr. Potato Head Challenge, each chef will have 45 minutes to create a dish using the ingredients they gathered, highlighting the potato as the star of the plate. Chris, give me a little inside your dish. I'm doing a shepherd's pie, chef. I'm taking a big <laughs> risk, making the lobster version of shepherd's pie. So this with mushrooms, peppers, I'm gonna do terracotta. You sure? Yes, chef. What are you gonna do with this? Potato crumble. Like, potato chip of crumble is really good. Are you making food? So if I'm making a uh, meatloaf. This is a dish that I've made time and time over. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'm pretty sure this is my challenge to win. We're down to two minutes, guys. Yes. Let's start plating. T, can you pass me my plates? They're behind you. Oh, I'm coloring. Right. A little more, a little more, a little more. My plates are behind you. Come on, guys. Ten, nine, eight. Come on, Rob. Seven. Chris, come on. Six. Yes. Five. Let's go, Chris. Four, three, two, one, and down. Holy mac. Good job, guys. Blue team, you have one more chef on your team than the red team. You need to come to consensus on who has the weakest dish. Because that dish will not be judged. Anyone off the bat feel not comfortable? Pancakes are pretty great. Well, my sweet potatoes aren't going to be smooth. It's like a yam. Right. I'm telling the blue team, I'm very confident in my flavors. You need my dish to go, because that's the only way we're going to win this thing. Ladies, hurry up. This is just really like a little bit. It's just chunky. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. This one. Blue team, this one. whose dish are you dropping? Chef, uh, we're going to drop Kanae's dish. Kanae's? Yes, Chef. Why? Visually, it's not that appealing, and it was a little clunky. Clunky? Yes, Chef. Now, I brought in a James Beard nominated cookbook author with three hugely successful restaurants. Crab Chef, Juniper and Ivory, and Flip Burger Boutique. Come on in. Please welcome Chef Richard Blaze. <laughs> chef, welcome to our kitchen. Wow, ATL, baby. When I see Chef Richard Blaze, I was like, my candles are... ATL in the building. Good to see you again, Chef. Good to see you, too. I just, I don't really usually light candles when I take a bath. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take a bath and then go to sleep. I don't really think like, oh, candlelight, romance. I think bath and sleep. What? Yo, you in the bathroom with some candles.
I hope we got the bath bomb going in there. You got the little rainbow water. Got the got the blue, purple, pink, white, everything. All the color water, multicolor water. Smelling all good like rain sunshines and rainbows. <laughs> I know you got the bath bombs in there. <laughs> At least. What are, you, what are you doing? Just sitting there in the dark or? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Jose, let's go, please. Chef Ramsay and Chef Blaze <laughs> will each score the potato dishes on a scale of one to five for a total of ten points. The team with the most points will win the challenge. Here we have a uh, sweet potato gratin. I have broccoli here, so what I did was charge them to resemble the bone marrow. Well, Jose, so ambitious. I think you could have just served the potato gratin in a little cocotte with maybe some of the chicken inside of the gratin, and that's a beautiful dish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are beautiful in jeans and a t-shirt. They don't need to get dressed up and wear fancy suits, right? Yes. I wanted more jeans and a t-shirt in this dish. I'm going to go with a two here. And for me, it's a two. All right, next up. Tea, let's go please. I did red garnet, sweet potatoes, and some butter squash. It looks a little uh, granular. The bacon's a little crispy. You could have peeled the ends of the peas a little bit because that's not a pleasant texture to have in your mouth. So the most underwhelming thing for me on that plate is the actual potato. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to have to give this dish a one. It's a two for me too. <laughs> See, you better pray that we don't lose this challenge. After a less than stellar start from both teams, Trevor's potato fritter with shrimp earns him a... <laughs> no, I can't sit in a bathtub in the dark. <laughs> I don't have any bath bombs, okay? <laughs> I did have some bubble bath, but I didn't use it tonight, okay? <laughs> I'm just taking a straight up bath. That is it. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm vibing. And then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no bath bombs? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's not. Oh no. Jesus. So you're just sitting in a tub roasting up like a roasted chicken. <laughs> Oh no! I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to UPS you a quick, quick uh, uh bath bomb collection. <laughs> Thank you. Six. Okay. <laughs> With Heather's surf and turf potato pancake following suit. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three. Thank you, Chef. Right. Chris, let's go, please. Uh, so we have is the lobster pie. 
Mm. So rich. The steak is definitely the hero there. Uh, Chris, I was worried that you weren't going to have enough lobster flavor in here. It's just enough lobster. I think it's the best thing you've cooked so far in this competition. Wow. Man, I'm going to give you a five. <laughs> For me, it's a four plus one. Five. Thank you, sir. That's what I was talking about, youngin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't even need to have you be in something. He needed that more than anybody else. Ariel. I have a Yukon and sweet potato cheese pasta sauce. Thank you. Of course, bro. Okay, I was asking you where you were, bro. I was like, yo, Will, you still here? Nigga wasn't even answering, bro. Yo, I felt disrespected, bro. perfect score. The men now hold a two. Yo, turn this off, bro. I'm done with this Zell's kitchen, nigga. Hey, Chris. <clears throat> Yo, did you finish it, bro? Yo, yo. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Let me play that again. <laughs> yo, yo, let me play it again. Let me play it again. Yo, Will, say John. Yo, Will, voila, this is funny. You can't say this is not jokes. Smelling all good, like my 
sunshine and rainbows. I know you got the bath bombs in there, at least. What are you doing? Just sitting there in the dark or? <laughs> yo, yo, the blue purple pin. <laughs> that killed me, bro. <laughs> yo, the, yo, man's a comedian, bro. That shit killed me. It's the first time me replaying it, bro. And then this is shit, or she's having, she's fucking dying. No, I cannot sit in a bathtub in the dark. And I, <laughs> I don't have any bath bombs, okay? <laughs> I did have some bubble bath, but I didn't. A bubble use it bath? Tonight, okay. I'm just taking a straight up bath. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I'm just chilling, I'm vibing, and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, why she say like I don't have any? Okay, <laughs> yo, what men say? No bath bombs. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! Jeez. So you're just sitting in it, the roasting up like a roasted chicken. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to UPS you a quick, quick uh, uh, bad bomb collection. No. <laughs> Shit! You know what you say? Okay. I'm roasting like a fine-ass chicken. <laughs> I'm about to be a snack. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I'm roasting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a bath care package. <laughs> okay. Yo, listen. I'm roasting like a fine-ass chicken. <laughs> fine-ass chicken? <laughs> I'm about to be a snack. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I'm roasting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Send me me. A bath care package. <laughs> Is this what you're telling me right now? So you're gonna just put in some candles in there, some bath bombs. Is this a hint? You want me to smell fine as hell when you come over sometime? <laughs> Fucking dead. Yo, yo, you're killing me. Yo, she said, she said cooking like a fine ass chicken yo she about to be a whole snack <laughs> okay yo you're killing me yo she said she said Cooking like a fine ass chicken. Yo, <laughs> about to be a whole snack. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna get a care package. So yo, when you know when I go there, yo, when I go there, when I run the bass, you know. I'm, you know, it's gonna be nice, you know, when you come down, it's gonna be smelling like, you know, you know what I'm saying, big, you know what I'm saying, Big Willie, you know what I'm saying, yo, I've been back, I've been here, you know, doing our, do my tizzy, yo, Ray, yo, Ray, Ray, yo, listen to her, yo, listen to her, yo, she's, yo, she's goofy, yo, yo, no, yo, <laughs> Yo, Rio, listen to her. She's goofy as shit. Listen to her. Okay. I'm roasting like a fine ass chicken. <laughs> He's sitting in the back. I'm about to be a snack. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I'm roasting right now. Yo, I <laughs> Sending me She's a goofy. bath care package. <laughs> Is this what you're telling me right now? So you're gonna just goofy. put in some candles in there, some bath bombs. <laughs> Is this a hint? You want me to smell fine as hell when you come over sometime? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm smelling real nice. Smell like a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, Rayo, you missed it, bro. It's fucking jokes. I'm talking to this gal, right? Man, to who the fuck is that? Is this this random girl I met? I met on uh, Facebook dating. And her name is Brittany. Yo, yo, man, go see Brittany. <laughs> Yo, man said bet she looks like a million bucks. Yo, she cute though. Yeah, she cute. She could she could do her thing. I mean, she cute. Cute little white girl. I said I bet she looks like a million bucks. I mean she alright. Why is she gassed up? Yo, nigga been gassing her up, B. <laughs> yo, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, Will, you're stupid, bro. You're crazy. Yo, Will, you're crazy. Man said, don't like the way she sound. <laughs> You're dusty. You're not supposed to. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's okay. <laughs> Sounds like a psycho, eh? But that's okay. <laughs> it's nothing serious anyway. Man said, "Sounds like a psycho. Why she's ha why why she gotta sound like a psycho? Yo, put your girl on the phone, dog. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey, yo, put your. What do you mean not for you either, big man? How you, <laughs> yo? How you gonna tell me though? Yo, why you hating? Yo, Ray, dog. Hey yo, hey yo, Ray. Why you hating though, B? Hey yo, B. Hey yo, B. Yo, why you hating, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kevin Man said that not for you either. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Can't believe you said that. Why you say that more? <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> what? What do you mean Finnegate lit? Nigga, I got some. I got some yesterday. What you mean? I got some the day before. What you mean? Two different counts. What you mean, bro? Manta told told her you're a virgin. <laughs> I'm the man said. Man said. What the fuck? <coughs> nah, bro. Oh yeah, Donna. Yo, it didn't even give me a superior dog. You guys are ugly, bro. I'm not coming back here, bro. You guys are ugly, bro. Dunks, dunks. <laughs> hey yo, Will, put your put your wife on the mic, dog. Hey yo, hey yo, go in Discord. Put your put your what? Yo, I'm gonna call you on I'm gonna call you on uh, Snapchat, bro. Put your wife on the mic, bro. Tell me about Sound Psycho. <laughs> Nigga, double dip. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> yo, yo, why you say that, bro? Yo, why you say that, bro? The man said double dipping, though. Say that I'm actually gonna be the chicken, <laughs> but with all the trimmings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, she's goofy. <laughs> Chew. <laughs> With all the trimmings, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you're killing me. She's goofy as fuck. <laughs> Message? <laughs> Yo, I <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Uh, Y'all are killing me, bro. This shit is too funny, bro. This shit is too funny, bro. I can't. Say that I'm actually gonna be the chicken, <laughs> but with all the trimmings, you know. What? <laughs> what did she say with that? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Ray. Yo, Ray. Though. <laughs> yo, yo, Ray. Oh, yo, listen to the. Yo, listen. To, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh wait. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not that. Yo, yo, listen to the voice of the other fucking jokes. Yo, listen to how the chicken shit started, bro. Listen, listen. Yo, you're gonna laugh. I think, laugh. My candles are <laughs> I think they're in my living room. Okay, wait, cause yo, cause I was like, yo, I was like, yo, how you sitting? In, yo, I was like, yo, where's the candles at? How you sitting in the bathroom? No candles, right? I tell you, this, this how it goes. Yo, then listen, yo, listen to this. What? <laughs> yo, when you're in the bathroom, some candles. I hope we got the bath bomb going <laughs> in there. You got the little rainbow water, got the got the blue, purple, pink, white, everything, gauze color, water, mother <laughs> color, water. Smelling all good, like when sun shines and rainbows. I know you got the bath bombs in there, at least. <laughs> what are you doing? Just sitting there in the dark, or? <laughs> Yo, that's fucking jokes. Yo. No, I do not sit in a bathtub in the dark. <laughs> I don't have any bath bombs, okay? I did have some bubble yo, bath. Yo, you but lacking. I didn't use it tonight, okay? Yo, what is that I'm bubble just bath? Taking a straight up bath. Nah. That is it. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm vibing. And then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you're not. Say you're going to sleep an hour ago. I bet so so yo make sure that bath is on the highest temperature possible because I like my chicken well done now, huh? I don't like no red meat now <laughs> better be a real snack <laughs> <laughs> you know she gonna be fried. <laughs> you know she finna be fried. <laughs> yeah, you so stupid, bro. You suck it. So dumb, bro. Alright, bro. Let me see, bro. What am I doing here, bro? With a cat or bee, bro? Alright, bro, 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 bro.
Yo, this girl's gonna be this girl's gonna be dying to meet nigga, bro. Crazy, bro. <laughs> Who the hell takes a ten minute bath? Man said I'ma be on in like forty driving home. Nigga, why are you on? You driving <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, you goofy as shit, nigga. You goofy you, you goop goop. Nigga, you be goopy, you goopy, you goopy as fuck. Why the fuck he driving and you pushing your luck? Hmm. Stop playing with it. Hmm. Homie, get home. Hmm. Stay with it. Hmm. Honey, keep the bone and he K with it. I told a nigga I ain't playing, but I keep it on me. I told a nigga I ain't staying, but I keep the homies around me. I told the homie I ain't keep the homies so down me. And if you're playing with me, I'ma put you down. Nigga, don't know I ain't playing around. Huh. Get him. That was scary. I bustin' it. I was bustin' it. <laughs> oh, you said I'm gonna fuck her up. I'm gonna fuck her up. I'm gonna fuck with her. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm so childish. And I'm down. <laughs> I can't believe you just sent me that. <laughs> I was not expecting the end though. <laughs> I really feel like I'm gonna die talking to this, bro. Uh, 
<laughs> Bro, that shit kills me. Time to fix anything, yo. Yo, she's fixing things. Yo, I can I can see you fixing things from here.
<laughs> oh, 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 torso see? Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Same but with a smile. <laughs>
I fucking called it, bro. <laughs> I knew it, bro. I knew this shebang was gonna happen. <laughs> I called it though, I'm gonna fucking die here fucking talking to this girl. Fucking called it. Almost died, 7 HP, I don't know. Yo, nobody's in the stream? <laughs> Fuck, bro. Fucking shit, bro. Let me get some people in the streamers, bro. What the hell's going on here, bro? Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, it's your turn. Let's do it in voice clips now. <laughs> it might be faster. Truth or dare. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do there. Actually, no. Why am I hiding from the truth? Yo, let me get the truth. Yo, because I am the truth around here. Let me get the truth. Bussing, bro. bro. He's just bussing. question <laughs> like every breakup but I mean honestly like I felt like I was just too young to be locked down like my ex wanted just wanted her to be the last like you know she wanted me to marry her and this that and I'm 26 you know I haven't experienced enough to be honest to be locking down like that because you know like you think you always think what you got is the best thing out there but then you meet something else out there and then you're like well what the fuck this thing this ain't the best thing anymore you know what i mean ah it's a long story she wanted to live a life we couldn't afford this at the fourth you know shit like that yeah you know having the dog sleep
question. I'm being answered that. I just have even more questions. <laughs> Fuck, I'm a snoop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but I understand completely. Like, for me, like, marriage is, like, definitely a big thing. So I completely get that. <clears throat> my boyfriend, like, we've been together for three years. And, like, having a baby is a pretty crazy step. But, like, he took on two kids that aren't even his. And he's just my, my whole life, you know? But, like, I don't know, something about marriage <laughs> gives me, like, mad anxiety sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Mar <laughs> marriage gives you anxiety? Oh, no. Well, I mean, yo, listen, like, you, know, you gotta just, just live your life the way you feel like is gonna make you happy, you know? Like, shit. Not everybody's built the same. People want to follow a tradition and they end up not being happy, stuck in a pit, stuck in a hole. Some people take their lives, end up in a fucking tornado, you know? So, yo, just don't feel pressured. Feel, live your life how you want to live it. Fuck everybody else. Scout, thanks for the follow, brother, brother or sister. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Good brother, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? How are you doing today? You know, I'm just sitting here, you know, grinding Slayer. You know, doing the doing the diesel. Started playing two days ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, I got I, I got a lot of people come to my stream. You know, they, they just start off. You know, I've been giving off. You know, giving people a little bit of starter packs. You know, yo, like the game is sick, bro. Once you get past a certain point, I don't know if you have members yet, but bro, it's sick. Bro. There's so much stuff to do. The game is endless. dope bro you can excel in the game like five times faster than freaking free to play you know I'm telling you bro if you want if you're if you're if you want to level up your combat or any like attack skills do slayer do slayer bro i'm telling you 
once you get past like 55 slayer like 60 slayer you start to make good money like a million an hour a million uh, two million an hour you know you make good money right now i'm at 78 which takes a long time somewhat not really a long time just more consistency you know to get here yeah, bro, just take your time, you know, dive in slow. Don't feel rushed about everybody else being an end game, you know, normal. Uh, you got to start small, you know. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm getting off now, though. Yo, but since you follow me, now you'll know when I when I when I'll be on streaming and whatnot. <clears throat> I try to. I gotta work tomorrow in the morning, so I gotta get off now. Unfortunately, browser. Yeah. So I mean, uh, add me in the game, brother. me in the game and send me a message real quick. Good night, brother. I'll be on tomorrow. Take care, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 